Surah 1 of the Holy Quran. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. Surah 1, the opening, Al-Fatiha, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Judgment. Thee do we serve, and thee do we beseech for help. Keep us on the right path, the path of those upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor of those who go astray. End of Surah 1surah two part one of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shaker this librivox recording is in the public domain surah two the cow al baqara revealed at medina in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful alif lam mim this book there is no doubt in it is a guide to those who guard against evil those who believe in the unseen and keep up prayer and spend out of what we have given them, and who believe in that which has been revealed to you and that which was revealed before you, and they are sure of the hereafter. These are on a right course from their Lord, and these it is that shall be successful. Surely those who disbelieve, it being alike to them, whether you warn them or do not warn them will not believe allah has set a seal upon their hearts and upon their hearing and there is a covering over their eyes and there is a great punishment for them and there are some people who say we believe in allah and the last day and they are not at all believers they desire to deceive allah and those who believe and they deceive only themselves and they do not perceive there is a disease in their hearts, so Allah added to their disease, and they shall have a painful chastisement, because they lied. And when it is said to them, Do not make mischief in the land, they say, We are but peacemakers. Now surely they themselves are the mischief makers, but they do not perceive. And when it is said to them, Believe as the people believe, they say, Shall we believe as the fools believe? Now surely they themselves are the fools, but they do not know. And when they meet those who believe, they say, We believe. And when they are alone with their shaitans, they say, Surely we are with you. We were only mocking. Allah shall pay them back their mockery, and he leaves them alone in their inordinacy, blindly wandering on. These are they who buy error for the right direction so their bargain shall bring no gain nor are they the followers of the right direction their parable is like the parable of one who kindled a fire but when it had illumined all around him allah took away their light and left them in utter darkness they do not see deaf dumb and blind so they will not turn back or like abundant rain from the cloud in which is utter darkness and thunder and lightning, they put their fingers into their ears because of the thunder peal, for fear of death, and Allah encompasses the unbelievers. The lightning almost takes away their sight. Whenever it shines on them, they walk in it, and when it becomes dark to them, they stand still. And if Allah had pleased, he would certainly have taken away their hearing and their sight. Surely Allah has power over all things. O men, serve your Lord who created you and those before you so that you may guard against evil, who made the earth a resting place for you and the heaven a canopy, and who sends down rain from the cloud then brings forth with it subsistence for you of the fruits. Therefore, do not set up rivals to Allah while you know. And if you are in doubt as to that which we have revealed to our servant, then produce a chapter like it 
and call on your witnesses besides Allah if you are truthful. But if you do it not, and never shall you do it, then be on your guard against the fire, of which men and stones are the fuel. It is prepared for the unbelievers and convey good news to those who believe and do good deeds that they shall have gardens in which rivers flow whenever they shall be given a portion of the fruit thereof they shall say this is what was given to us before and they shall be given the like of it and they shall have pure mates in them and in them they shall abide surely allah is not ashamed to set forth any parable that of a gnat or anything above that then as for those who believe they know that it is the truth from their lord and as for those who disbelieve they say what is it that allah means by this parable he causes many to err by it and many he leads aright by it but he does not cause to err by it any except the transgressors who break the covenant of Allah after its confirmation, and cut asunder what Allah has ordered to be joined, and make mischief in the land, these it is that are the losers. How do you deny Allah, and you were dead, and he gave you life? Again he will cause you to die, and again bring you to life. Then you shall be brought back to him. He it is who created for you all that is in the earth and he directed himself to the heaven so he made them complete seven heavens and he knows all things and when your lord said to the angels i am going to place in the earth a caliph they said what wilt thou place in it such as shall make mischief in it and shed blood and we celebrate thy praise and extol thy holiness he said surely i know what you do not know and he taught adam all the names then presented them to the angels then he said tell me the names of those if you are right they said glory be to thee we have no knowledge but that which thou hast taught us surely thou art the knowing the wise he said o adam inform them of their names then when he had informed them of their names he said did i not say to you that i surely know what is ghaib in the heavens and the earth and that i know what you manifest and what you hide and when we said to the angels make obeisance to adam they did obeisance but iblis did it not he refused and he was proud and he was one of the unbelievers and we said o adam dwell you and your wife in the garden and eat from it a plenteous food wherever you wish and do not approach this tree for then you will be of the unjust but the shaitan made them both fall from it and caused them to depart from that state in which they were and we said get forth some of you being the enemies of others and there is for you in the earth and abode and a provision for a time then adam received some words from his lord so he turned to him mercifully surely he is oft returning to mercy the merciful we said go forth from this state all so surely there will come to you a guidance from me then whoever follows my guidance no fear shall come upon them nor shall they grieve and as to those who disbelieve in and reject my communications they are the inmates of the fire in it they shall abide o children of israel call to mind my favor which i bestowed on you and be faithful to your covenant with me i will fulfill my covenant with you and of me me alone should you be afraid and believe in what i have revealed verifying that which is with you and be not the first to deny it neither take a mean price in exchange for my communications and me me alone should you fear and do not mix up the truth with the falsehood nor hide the truth while you know it and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and bow down with those who bow down what do you enjoin men to be good 
and neglect your own souls while you read the book? Have you then no sense? And seek assistance through patience and prayer, and most surely it is a hard thing except for the humble ones, who know that they shall meet their Lord and that they shall return to him. O children of Israel, call to mind my favor which I bestowed on you, and that I made you excel the nations, and be on your guard against a day when one soul shall not avail another in the least, neither shall intercession on its behalf be accepted, nor shall any compensation be taken from it, nor shall they be helped. And when we delivered you from Pharaoh's people, who subjected you to severe torment, killing your sons and sparing your women, and in this there was a great trial from your Lord. And when we parted the sea for you, so we saved you and drowned the followers of Pharaoh, and you watched by. And when we appointed a time of forty nights with Musa, then you took the calf for a god after him, and you were unjust. Then we pardoned you after that, so that you might give thanks. And when we gave Musa the book, and the distinction that you might walk aright. And when Musa said to his people, O my people, you have surely been unjust to yourselves by taking the calf for a god. Therefore turn to your Creator penitently, so kill your people, that is best for you with your Creator. So he turned to you mercifully, for surely he is oft returning to mercy the merciful. And when you said, O Musa, we will not believe in you until we see Allah manifestly. So the punishment overtook you while you looked on. Then we raised you up after your death, that you may give thanks. And we made the clouds to give shade over you, and we sent to you men and quails, eat of the good things that we have given you, and they did not do us any harm, but they made their own souls suffer the loss. And when we said, Enter this city, then eat from it a plenteous food, wherever you wish, and enter the gate making obeisance, and say forgiveness. We will forgive you your wrongs, and give more to those who do good to others. But those who were unjust, change it for a saying other than that which had been spoken to them. So we sent upon those who were unjust a pestilence from heaven because they transgressed. And when Musa prayed for drink for his people, we said, Strike the rock with your staff. So there gushed from it twelve springs. Each tribe knew its drinking place. Eat and drink of the provisions of Allah and do not act corruptly in the land, making mischief. And when you said, O Musa, we cannot bear with one foot, therefore pray, Lord, on our behalf to bring forth for us out of what the earth grows, of its herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentils and its onions. He said, Will you exchange that which is better for that which is worse? Enter a city, so you will have what you ask for. And abasement and humiliation were brought down upon them, and they became deserving of Allah's wrath. This was so because they disbelieved in the communications of Allah, and killed the prophets unjustly. This was so because they disobeyed and exceeded the limits. Surely those who believe, and those who are Jews, and the Christians, and the Sabians, whoever believes in Allah and the last day and does good, they shall have their reward from their Lord, and there is no fear for them, nor shall they grieve. And when we took a promise from you and lifted the mountain over you, take hold of the law, Torah, we have given you with firmness and bear in mind what is in it, so that you may guard against evil. Then you turn back after that, so were it not for the grace of Allah and his mercy on you, you would certainly have been among the losers. And certainly you have known those among you who exceeded the limits of the Sabbath. So we said to them, be as apes, despised and hated. So we made them an example to those who witnessed it and those who came after it. And an admonition to those who guard against evil 
And when Musa said to his people, Surely Allah commands you that you should sacrifice a cow, they said, Do you ridicule us? He said, I seek the protection of Allah from being one of the ignorant. They said, Call on your Lord for our sake to make it plain to us what she is. Musa said, He says, Surely she is a cow, neither advanced in age nor too young, of middle age between that and this. Do therefore what you are commanded. They said, Call on your Lord for our sake to make it plain to us what her color is. Musa said, He says, Surely she is a yellow cow. Her color is intensely yellow, giving delight to the beholders. They said, Call on your Lord for our sake to make it plain to us what she is. For surely to us the cows are all alike. And if Allah please, we shall surely be guided aright. Musa said, He says, Surely she is a cow not made submissive that she should plough the land, nor does she irrigate the tilth, sound, without a blemish in her. They said, Now you have brought the truth. So they sacrificed her, though they had not the mind to do it. And when you killed a man, then you disagreed with respect to that, and Allah was to bring forth that which you were going to hide. So we said, Strike the dead body with part of the sacrificed cow. Thus Allah brings the dead to life, and he shows you his signs so that you may understand. Then your hearts hardened after that, so that they were like rocks, rather worse in hardness. And surely there are some rocks from which streams burst forth, and surely there are some of them which split asunder so water issues out of them. And surely there are some of them which fall down for fear of Allah, and Allah is not at all heedless of what you do. Do you then hope that they would believe in you? And a party from among them indeed used to hear the word of Allah, then altered it after they had understood it, and they know this. And when they meet those who believe, they say, We believe. And when they are alone, one with another, they say, Do you talk to them of what Allah has disclosed to you, that they may contend with you by this before your Lord? Do you not then understand? Do they not know that Allah knows what they keep secret and what they make known? And there are among them illiterates who know not the book, but only lies, and they do but conjecture. Who then? To those who write the book with their hands and then say, This is from Allah, so that they may take for it a small price. Therefore, woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they earn. And they say, Fire shall not touch us but for a few days. Say, Have you received a promise from Allah? Then Allah will not fail to perform His promise. Or do you speak against Allah what you do not know? Yea, whoever earns evil and his sins beset him on every side. These are the inmates of the fire. In it they shall abide. And as for those who believe and do good deeds, these are the dwellers of the garden. In it they shall abide. And when we made a covenant with the children of Israel, you shall not serve any but Allah, and you shall do good to your parents, and to the near of kin, and to the orphans, and the needy, and you shall speak to men good words, and keep a prayer, and pay the poor rate. Then you turn back except a few of you, and now too you turn aside. And when we made a covenant with you, you shall not shed your blood, and you shall not turn your people out of your cities, then you gave a promise while you witnessed. Yet you it is who slay your people and turn a party from among you out of their homes, backing each other up against them unlawfully and exceeding the limits. And if they should come to you as captives, you would ransom them. While their very turning out was unlawful for you, do you then believe in a part of the book and disbelieve in the other? 
What then is the reward of such among you as do this but disgrace in the life of this world? And on the day of resurrection they shall be sent back to the most grievous chastisement. And Allah is not at all heedless of what you do. These are they who buy the life of this world for the hereafter. So their chastisement shall not be lightened, nor shall they be helped. And most certainly we gave Musa the book, and we sent messengers after him, one after another. And we gave Isa, the son of Maryam, clear arguments and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. What? Whenever then a messenger came to you with that which your souls did not desire, you were insolent, so you called some liars and some you slew. And they say, Our hearts are covered. Nay, Allah has cursed them on account of their unbelief, so little it is that they believe. And when there came to them a book from Allah, verifying that which they have, and aforetime they used to pray for victory against those who disbelieve. But when there came to them prophet, that which they did not recognize, they disbelieved in him. So Allah's curse is on the unbelievers. Evil is that for which they have sold their souls, that they should deny what Allah has revealed out of envy that Allah should send down of his grace on whomsoever of his servants he pleases. So they have made themselves deserving of wrath upon wrath, and there is a disgraceful punishment for the unbelievers. And when it is said to them, Believe in what Allah has revealed, they say, We believe in that which was revealed to us, and they deny what is besides that, while it is the truth, verifying that which they have. Say, Why then did you kill Allah's prophets before, if you were indeed believers? And most certainly Musa came to you with clear arguments. Then you took the calf for a god in his absence and you were unjust. And when we made a covenant with you and raised the mountain over you, take hold of what we have given you with firmness and be obedient. They said, We hear and disobey. And they were made to imbibe the love of the calf into their hearts on account of their unbelief. Say, evil is that which your belief bids you if you are believers. Say, if the future abode with Allah is especially for you to the exclusion of the people, then invoke death if you are truthful. And they will never invoke it on account of what their hands have sent before. And Allah knows the unjust. And you will most certainly find them the greediest of men for life greedier than even those who are polytheists. Every one of them loves that he should be granted a life of a thousand years, and his being granted a long life will in no way remove him further off from the chastisement, and Allah sees what they do. Say, whoever is the enemy of Jibreel, for surely he revealed it to your heart by Allah's command, verifying that which is before it, and guidance and good news for the believers. Whoever is the enemy of Allah and his angels and his messengers and Jibreel and Mikael, so surely Allah is the enemy of the unbelievers. And certainly we have revealed to you clear communications and none disbelieve in them except the transgressors. What? Whenever they make a covenant, a party of them cast it aside. Nay, most of them do not believe. And when there came to them a messenger from Allah, verifying that which they have, a party of those who were given the book, threw the book of Allah behind their backs as if they knew nothing. And they followed what the shaitans chanted of sorcery in the reign of Sulaiman. And Sulaiman was not an unbeliever, but the shaitans disbelieved. They taught men sorcery, and that was sent down to the two angels at Babel. Harut and Marut, yet these two taught no man until they had said, Surely we are only a trial, therefore do not be a disbeliever. Even then men learned from these two magic by which they might cause a separation between a man and his wife, and they cannot hurt with it 
anyone except with Allah's permission, and they learned what harmed them and did not profit them, and certainly they know that he who bought it should have no share of good in the hereafter, and evil was the price for which they sold their souls, had they but known this, and if they had believed and guarded themselves against evil, reward from Allah would certainly have been better, had they but known this. O you who believe, don't say ra'ina and say unzurna and listen, and for the unbelievers there is a painful chastisement. Those who disbelieve from among the followers of the book do not like, nor do the polytheists, that the good should be sent down to you from your Lord, and Allah chooses especially whom he pleases for his mercy, and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. Whatever communications we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring one better than it or like it. Do you not know that Allah has power over all things? Do you not know that Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and that besides Allah you have no guardian or helper? Rather you wish to put questions to your messenger, as Musa was questioned before, and whoever adopts unbelief instead of faith, he indeed has lost the right direction of the way. Many of the followers of the book wish that they could turn you back into unbelievers after your faith, out of envy from themselves, even after the truth has become manifest to them, but pardon and forgive, so that Allah should bring about his command, surely Allah has power over all things, and keep up prayer, and pay the poor rate, and whatever good you send before for yourselves, you shall find it with Allah, surely Allah sees what you do. And they say, none shall enter the garden or paradise, except he who is a Jew or a Christian. These are their vain desires. Say, bring your proof if you are truthful. Yes, whoever submits himself entirely to Allah, and he is the doer of good to others, he has his reward from his Lord, and there is no fear for him, nor shall he grieve. And the Jews say, the Christians do not follow anything good. And the Christians say, the Jews do not follow anything good while they recite the same book. Even thus say those who have no knowledge, like to what they say. So Allah shall judge between them on the day of resurrection in what they differ. And who is more unjust than he who prevents men from the masjids of Allah, that his name should be remembered in them, and strives to ruin them. As for these, it was not proper for them that they should have entered them except in fear. They shall meet with disgrace in this world, and they shall have great chastisement in the hereafter. And Allah's is the east and the west. Therefore, whither you turn, thither is Allah's purpose. Surely Allah is ample giving, knowing. And they say, Allah has taken to himself a son. Glory be to him. Rather, whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. All are obedient to him wonderful originator of the heavens and the earth, and when he decrees an affair, he only says to it, Be, so there it is. And those who have no knowledge say, Why does not Allah speak to us, or a sign come to us? Even thus said those before them, the like of what they say, their hearts are all alike. Indeed, we have made the communications clear for a people who are sure. Surely we have sent you with the truth as a bearer of good news and as a warner, and you shall not be called upon to answer for the companions of the flaming fire, and the Jews will not be pleased with you, nor the Christians, until you follow their religion. Say, surely Allah's guidance, that is the true guidance, and if you follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you, you shall have no guardian from Allah nor any helper. Those to whom we have given the book, read it as it ought to be read. These believe in it, and whoever disbelieves in it, these it is that are the losers. O children of Israel, call to mind my favor which I bestowed on you, and that I made you excel the nations. And be on your guard against a day when no soul shall avail another in the least. Neither shall any compensation be accepted from it, 
nor shall intercession profit it, nor shall they be helped. And when his Lord tried Ibrahim with certain words, he fulfilled them. He said, Surely I will make you an imam of men. Ibrahim said, And of my offspring, my covenant does not include the unjust, said he. And when we made the house a pilgrimage for men and a place of security, and appoint for yourselves a place of prayer on the standing place of Ibrahim, and we enjoined Ibrahim and Ismail, saying, Purify my house for those who visit it, and those who abide in it for devotion, and those who bow down, and those who prostrate themselves. And when Ibrahim said, My Lord, make it a secure town, and provide its people with fruits, such of them as believe in Allah and the last day, he said, And whoever disbelieves, I will grant him enjoyment for a short while. Then I will drive him to the chastisement of the fire, and it is an evil destination. And when Ibrahim and Ismail raised the foundations of the house, our Lord, accept from us, surely thou art the hearing, the knowing. Our Lord, and make us both submissive to thee, and raise from our offspring a nation submitting to thee, and show us our ways of devotion, and turn to us mercifully. Surely thou art the oft returning to mercy, the merciful, our Lord, and raise up in them a messenger from among them, who shall recite to them thy communications, and teach them the book and the wisdom, and purify them. Surely thou art the mighty, the wise. And who forsakes the religion of Ibrahim, but he who makes himself a fool? And most certainly we chose him in this world, and in the hereafter he is most surely among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, Be a Muslim, he said, I submit myself to the Lord of the worlds. And the same did Ibrahim enjoin on his sons, and so did Yaqub. O my sons, surely Allah has chosen for you this faith, therefore die not unless you are Muslims. Nay, were you witnesses when death visited Yaqub, when he said to his sons, What will you serve after me? They said, We will serve your God and the God of your fathers, Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq, one Allah only, and to him do we submit. This is a people that have passed away. They shall have what they earned, and you shall have what you earn, and you shall not be called upon to answer for what they did. And they say, Be Jews or Christians, you will be on the right course. Say, Nay, we follow the religion of Ibrahim the Hanif, and he was not one of the polytheists. Say, We believe in Allah and in that which had been revealed to us, and in that which was revealed to Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the tribes, and in that which was given to Musa and Isa, and in that which was given to the prophets from their Lord. We do not make any distinction between any of them, and to him do we submit. If then they believe as you believe in him, they are indeed on the right course. And if they turn back, then they are only in great opposition. So Allah will suffice you against them, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Receive the baptism of Allah, and who is better than Allah in baptizing, and him do we serve. Say, do you dispute with us about Allah? and he is our Lord and your Lord, and we shall have our deeds, and you shall have your deeds, and we are sincere to him. Nay, do you say that Ibrahim and Ismail and Yaqub and the tribes were Jews or Christians? Say, are you better knowing or Allah? And who is more unjust than he who conceals a testimony that he has from Allah? And Allah is not at all heedless of what you do. This is a people that have passed away. They shall have what they earned, and you shall have what you earn, and you shall not be called upon to answer for what they did. The fools among the people will say, What has turned them from their qubla which they had? Say, The east and the west belong only to Allah. He guides whom he likes to the right path. And thus we have made you a medium, just nation that you may be the bearers of witness to the people, and that the messenger may be a bearer of witness to you, 
and we did not make that which you would have to be the Qibla, but that we might distinguish him who follows the messenger from him who turns back upon his heels, and this was surely hard except for those whom Allah has guided aright, and Allah was not going to make your faith to be fruitless. Most surely Allah is affectionate, merciful to the people. Indeed we see the turning of your face to heaven, so we shall surely turn you to a Qibla which you shall like. Turn then your face towards the sacred mosque, and wherever you are, turn your face towards it. And those who have been given the book most surely know that it is the truth from their Lord, and Allah is not at all heedless of what they do. And even if you bring to those who have been given the book every sign they would not follow your Qibla, nor can you be a follower of their Qibla, neither are they the followers of each other's Qibla. And if you follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you, then you shall most surely be among the unjust. Those whom we have given the book recognize him as they recognize their sons, and a party of them most surely conceal the truth while they know it. The truth is from your Lord, therefore you should not be of the doubters. And every one has a direction to which he should turn. Therefore hasten to do good works, wherever you are. Allah will bring you all together. Surely Allah has power over all things. And from whatsoever place you come forth, turn your face towards the sacred mosque and surely it is the very truth from your Lord, and Allah is not at all heedless of what you do, and from whatsoever place you come forth, turn your face towards the sacred mosque, and wherever you are, turn your faces towards it, so that people shall have no accusation against you, except such of them as are unjust, so do not fear them, and fear me, that I may complete my favor on you, and that you may walk on the right course, even as we have sent among you a messenger from among you who recites to you our communications, and purifies you, and teaches you the book and the wisdom, and teaches you that which you did not know. Therefore remember me, I will remember you, and be thankful to me, and do not be ungrateful to me. O you who believe, seek assistance through patience and prayer. Surely Allah is with the patient. And do not speak of those who are slain in Allah's way as dead. Nay, they are alive, but you do not perceive. And we will most certainly try you with somewhat of fear and hunger and loss of property and lives and fruits and give good news to the patient, who... When a misfortune befalls them, say, Surely we are Allah's, and to him we shall surely return. Those are they on whom are blessings and mercy from the Lord, and those are the followers of the right course. Surely the Safa and the Marwa are among the signs appointed by Allah. So whoever makes a pilgrimage to the house or pays a visit to it, there is no blame on him if he goes round them both, and whoever does good spontaneously, then surely Allah is grateful, knowing. Surely those who conceal the clear proofs and the guidance that we revealed after we made it clear in the book for men, these it is whom Allah shall curse, and those who curse shall curse them too, except those who repent and amend and make manifest the truth. These it is to whom I turn mercifully, and I am the oft returning to mercy, the merciful. Surely those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, these it is on whom is the curse of Allah and the angels and men all. Abiding in it, their chastisement shall not be lightened, nor shall they be given respite. And your Allah is one Allah. There is no God but He. He is the beneficent, the merciful. Most surely in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day and the ships that run in the sea with that which profits men and the water that Allah sends down from the cloud then gives life with it to the earth after its death 
and spreads in it all kinds of animals and the changing of the winds and the clouds made subservient between the heaven and the earth there are signs for a people who understand and there are some among men who take for themselves objects of worship besides allah whom they love as they love allah and those who believe are stronger in love for allah and all oh, that those who are unjust had seen when they see the chastisement that the power is wholly allah's and that allah is severe in requiting evil when those who were followed shall renounce those who followed them and they see the chastisement and their ties are cut asunder and those who followed shall say have there been for us a return then we would renounce them as they have renounced us thus will allah show them their deeds to be intense regret to them and they shall not come forth from the fire o men eat the lawful and good things out of what is in the earth and do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan surely he is your open enemy he only enjoins you evil and indecency and that you may speak against allah what you do not know and when it is said to them follow what allah has revealed they say nay we follow what we found our fathers upon what and though their fathers had no sense at all nor did they follow the right way and the parable of those who disbelieve is as the parable of one who calls out to that which hears no more than a call and a cry deaf dumb and blind so they do not understand end of surah 2 part 1 Surah 2, Part 2 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 2, The Cow, al baqarah revealed at Medina. Part 2, O you who believe, eat of the good things that we have provided you with, and give thanks to Allah if him it is that you serve. He has only forbidden you what dies of itself, and blood, and flesh of swine and that over which any other name than that of allah has been invoked but whoever is driven to necessity not desiring nor exceeding the limit no sin shall be upon him surely allah is forgiving merciful surely those who conceal any part of the book that allah has revealed and take for it a small price they eat nothing but fire into their bellies and Allah will not speak to them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and they shall have a painful chastisement. These are they who buy error for the right direction, and chastisement for forgiveness. How bold they are to encounter fire! This is because Allah has revealed the book with the truth, and surely those who go against the book are in a great opposition it is not righteousness that you turn your faces towards the east and the west but righteousness is this that one should believe in allah and the last day and the angels and the book and the prophets and give away wealth out of love for him to the near of kin and the orphans and the needy and the wayfarer and the beggars and for the emancipation of the captives and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and the performers of their promise when they make a promise and the patient in distress and affliction and in time of conflicts these are they who are true to themselves and these are they who guard against evil o you who believe retaliation is prescribed for you in the matter of the slain the free for the free and the slave for the slave and the female for the female but if any remission is made to any one by his aggrieved brother then prosecution for the blood wit should be made according to usage and payment should be made to him in a good manner this is an alleviation from your lord and a mercy so whoever exceeds the limit after this he shall have a painful chastisement and there is life for you in the law of retaliation o men of understanding that you may guard yourselves bequest is prescribed for you when death approaches one of you if he leaves behind wealth for parents and near relatives according to usage a duty incumbent upon those who guard against evil 
whoever then alters it after he has heard it the sin of it then is only upon those who alter it surely allah is hearing knowing but he who fears an inclination to a wrong course or an act of disobedience on the part of the testator and effects an agreement between the parties there is no blame on him surely allah is forgiving merciful o you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may guard against evil for a certain number of days but whoever among you is sick or on a journey then he shall fast a like number of other days and those who are not able to do it may effect a redemption by feeding a poor man so whoever does good spontaneously it is better for him and that you fast is better for you if you know the month of ramadan is that in which the quran was revealed a guidance to men and clear proofs of the guidance and the distinction therefore whoever of you is present in the month he shall fast therein and whoever is sick or upon a journey then he shall fast a like number of other days allah desires ease for you and he does not desire for you difficulty and he desires that you should complete the number and that you should exalt the greatness of allah for his having guided you and that you may give thanks and when my servants ask you concerning me then surely i am very near i answer the prayer of the suppliant when he calls on me so they should answer my call and believe in me that they may walk in the right way it is made lawful to you to go into your wives on the night of the fast they are an apparel for you and you are an apparel for them allah knew that you acted unfaithfully to yourselves so he has turned to you mercifully and removed from you this burden so now be in contact with them and seek what allah has ordained for you and eat and drink until the whiteness of the day becomes distinct from the blackness of the night at dawn then complete the fast till night and have not contact with them while you keep to the mosques these are the limits of allah so do not go near them thus does allah make clear his communications for men that they may guard against evil and do not swallow up your property among yourselves by false means neither seek to gain access thereby to the judges so that you may swallow up a part of the property of men wrongfully while you know they ask you concerning the new moon say they are times appointed for the benefit of men and for the pilgrimage and it is not righteousness that you should enter the houses at their backs but righteousness is this that one should guard against evil and go into the houses by their doors and be careful of your duty to allah that you may be successful and fight in the way of allah with those who fight with you and do not exceed the limits surely allah does not love those who exceed the limits and kill them wherever you find them and drive them out from whence they drove you out and persecution is severer than slaughter and do not fight with them at the sacred mosque until they fight with you in it but if they do fight you then slay them such is the recompense of the unbelievers but if they desist then surely allah is forgiving merciful and fight with them until there is no persecution and religion should be only for allah but if they desist then there should be no hostility except against the oppressors the sacred month for the sacred month and all sacred things are under the law of retaliation whoever then acts aggressively against you inflict injury on him according to the injury he has inflicted on you and be careful of your duty to allah and know that allah is with those who guard against evil and spend in the way of allah and cause not yourselves to perdition with your own hands and do good to others surely allah loves the doers of good and accomplish the pilgrimage and the visit for allah but if you are prevented send whatever offering is easy to obtain and do not shave your heads until the offering reaches its destination but whoever among you is sick or has an ailment of the head 
he should effect a compensation by fasting or alms or sacrificing. Then when you are secure, whoever profits by combining the visit with the pilgrimage should take what offering is easy to obtain. But he who cannot find any offering should fast for three days during the pilgrimage and for seven days when you return. These make ten days complete. This is for him whose family is not present in the sacred mosque. And be careful of your duty to Allah and know that Allah is severe in requiting evil. The pilgrimage is performed in the well-known month. So whoever determines the performance of the pilgrimage therein, there shall be no intercourse, nor fornication, nor quarreling amongst one another. And whatever good you do, Allah knows it, and make provision, for surely the provision is the guarding of oneself. And be careful of your duty to me, O men of understanding. There is no blame on you in seeking bounty from your Lord. So when you hasten on from Arafat, then remember Allah near the holy monument, and remember him as he has guided you, though before that you were certainly of the erring ones. Then hasten on from the place from which the people hasten on, and ask the forgiveness of Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving merciful. So when you have performed your devotions, then load Allah as you loaded your fathers, rather a greater loading. But there are some people who say, Our Lord, give us in the world, and they shall have no resting place. And there are some among them who say, Our Lord, grant us good in this world, and good in the hereafter, and save us from the chastisement of the fire. They shall have their portion of what they have earned, and Allah is swift in reckoning and load Allah during the numbered days. Then whoever hastens off in two days, there is no blame on him, and whoever remains behind, there is no blame on him. This is for him who guards against evil. And be careful of your duty to Allah, and know that you shall be gathered together to him. And among men is he whose speech about the life of this world causes you to wonder, and he calls on Allah to witness as to what is in his heart, yet he is the most violent of adversaries. And when he turns back, he runs along in the land that he may cause mischief in it and destroy the tilth and the stock, and Allah does not love mischief-making. And when it is said to him, guard against the punishment of Allah, pride carries him off to sin, therefore hell is sufficient for him and certainly it is an evil resting place. And among men is he who sells himself to seek the pleasure of Allah, and Allah is affectionate to the servants. O you who believe, enter into submission one and all, and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan. Surely he is your open enemy. But if you slip after clear arguments have come to you, then know that Allah is mighty wise. They do not wait aught but that Allah should come to them in the shadows of the clouds along with the angels, and the matter has already been decided, and all matters are returned to Allah. Ask the Israelites how many a clear sign have we given them, and whoever changes the favor of Allah after it has come to him, then surely Allah is severe in requiting evil. The life of this world is made to seem fair to those who disbelieve, and they mock those who believe, and those who guard against evil shall be above them on the day of resurrection. And Allah gives means of subsistence to whom he pleases without measure. All people are a single nation, so Allah raised prophets as bearers of good news and as warners, and he revealed with them the book with truth that it might judge between people in that in which they differed, and none but the very people who were given it differed about it after clear arguments had come to them, revolting among themselves, so Allah has guided by his will those who believe to the truth, about which they differed, and Allah guides whom he pleases to the right path. Or do you think that you would enter the garden 
while yet the state of those who have passed away before you has not come upon you distress and affliction befell them and they were shaken violently so that the messenger and those who believed with him said when will the help of allah come now surely the help of allah is nigh they ask you as to what they should spend say whatever wealth you spend it is for the parents the near of kin and the orphans and the needy and the wayfarer and whatever good you do allah surely knows it fighting is enjoined on you and it is an object of dislike to you and it may be that you dislike a thing while it is good for you and it may be that you love a thing while it is evil for you and allah knows while you do not know they ask you concerning the sacred month about fighting in it say fighting in it is a grave matter and hindering men from allah's way and denying him and hindering men from the sacred mosque and turning its people out of it are still graver with allah and persecution is graver than slaughter and they will not cease fighting with you until they turn you back from your religion if they can and whoever of you turns back from his religion then he dies while an unbeliever these it is whose works shall go for nothing in this world and the hereafter and they are the inmates of the fire therein they shall abide surely those who believed and those who fled their home and strove hard in the way of allah these hope for the mercy of allah and allah is forgiving merciful they ask you about intoxicants and games of chance say in both of them there is a great sin and means of profit for men and their sin is greater than their profit and they ask you as to what they should spend say what you can spare thus does allah make clear to you the communications that you may ponder on this world and the hereafter and they ask you concerning the orphans say to set right for them their affairs is good and if you become co-partners with them they are your brethren and allah knows the mischief maker and the peace maker and if allah had pleased he would certainly have caused you to fall into a difficulty surely allah is mighty wise and do not marry the idolatresses until they believe and certainly a believing maid is better than an idolatrous woman even though she should please you and do not give believing women in marriage to idolaters until they believe and certainly a believing servant is better than an idolater even though he should please you these invite to the fire and allah invites to the garden and to forgiveness by his will and makes clear his communications to men that they may be mindful and they ask you about ministration say it is a discomfort therefore keep aloof from the women during the ministerial discharge and do not go near them until they have become clean then when they have cleansed themselves go into them as allah has commanded you surely allah loves those who turn much to him and he loves those who purify themselves your wives are a tilth for you so go into your tilth when you like and do good beforehand for yourselves and be careful of your duty to allah and know that you will meet him and give good news to the believers and make not allah because of your swearing by him an obstacle to your doing good and guarding against evil and making peace between men and allah is hearing knowing allah does not call you to account for what is vain in your oath but he will call you to account for what your hearts have earned and allah is forgiving forbearing those who swear that they will not go in to their wives should wait four months so if they go back then allah is surely forgiving merciful and if they have resolved on a divorce then allah is surely hearing knowing and the divorced women should keep themselves in waiting for three courses and it is not lawful for them that they should conceal what allah has created in their wombs if they believe in allah and the last day 
and their husbands have a better right to take them back in the meanwhile if they wish for reconciliation, and they have rights similar to those against them in a just manner, and the men are a degree above them, and Allah is mighty wise. Divorce may be pronounced twice, then keep them in good fellowship, or let them go with kindness, and it is not lawful for you to take any part of what you have given them, unless both fear that they cannot keep within the limits of Allah. Then if you fear that they cannot keep within the limits of Allah, there is no blame on them for what she gives up to become free thereby. These are the limits of Allah, so do not exceed them, and whoever exceeds the limits of Allah, these it is that are the unjust. So if he divorces her, she shall not be lawful to him afterwards until she marries another husband. Then if he divorces her, there is no blame on them both if they return to each other by marriage, if they think that they can keep within the limits of Allah. And these are the limits of Allah which he makes clear for a people who know. And when you divorce women and they reach their prescribed time, then either retain them in good fellowship or set them free with liberality, and do not retain them for injury so that you exceed the limits. And whoever does this, he indeed is unjust to his own soul, and do not take Allah's communications for a mockery, and remember the favor of Allah upon you, and that which he has revealed to you of the book and the wisdom, admonishing you thereby, and be careful of your duty to Allah, and know that Allah is the knower of all things. And when you have divorced women, and they have ended their term of waiting, then do not prevent them from marrying their husbands when they agree among themselves in a lawful manner. With this is admonished he among you who believes in Allah and the last day. This is more profitable and purer for you, and Allah knows while you do not know. And the mothers should suckle their children for two whole years for him who desires to make complete the time of suckling, and their maintenance and their clothing must be borne by the father according to usage. No soul shall have imposed upon it a duty but to the extent of its capacity. Neither shall a mother be made to suffer harm on account of her child, nor a father on account of his child, and a similar duty devolves on the father's heir. But if both desire weaning by mutual consent and counsel, there is no blame on them, and if you wish to engage a wet nurse for your children, there is no blame on you, so long as you pay what you promised for according to usage. And be careful of your duty to Allah, and know that Allah sees what you do. And as for those of you who die and leave wives behind, they should keep themselves in waiting for four months and ten days. Then, when they have fully attained their term, there is no blame on you for what they do for themselves in a lawful manner. And Allah is aware of what you do. And there is no blame on you respecting that which you speak indirectly in the asking of such women in marriage or keep the proposal concealed within your minds. Allah knows that you will mention them, but do not give them a promise in secret unless you speak in a lawful manner, and do not confirm the marriage tie until the writing is fulfilled, and know that Allah knows what is in your minds. Therefore, beware of him, and know that Allah is forgiving, forbearing. There is no blame on you if you divorce women when you have not touched them or appointed for them a portion, and make provision for them, the wealthy according to his means, and the straitened in circumstances according to his means, a provision according to usage. This is a duty on the doers of good to others. And if you divorce them before you have touched them, and you have appointed for them a portion, then pay to them half of what you have appointed, unless they relinquish or he should relinquish in whose hand is the marriage tie. And it is nearer to righteousness that you should relinquish, and do not neglect the giving of free gifts between you. Surely Allah sees what you do. Attend constantly to prayers and to the middle prayer, and stand up truly obedient to Allah. But if you are in danger, then say your prayers on foot or on horseback, and when you are secure, 
then remember Allah is. He has taught you what you did not know. And those of you who die and leave wives behind, make a bequest in favor of their wives of maintenance for a year without turning them out. Then if they themselves go away, there is no blame on you for what they do of lawful deeds by themselves. And Allah is mighty, wise. And for the divorced women, two provision must be made according to usage. This is a duty on those who guard against evil. Allah thus makes clear to you his communications that you may understand. Have you not considered those who went forth from their homes for fear of death and they were thousands? Then Allah said to them, Die. Again he gave them life. Most surely Allah is gracious to people, but most people are not grateful. And fight in the way of Allah and know that Allah is hearing, knowing. Who is it that will offer of Allah a goodly gift? So he will multiply it to him manifold, and Allah straightens and amplifies, and you shall be returned to him. Have you not considered the sheaves of the children of Israel after Musa, when they said to a prophet of theirs, Raise up for us a king, that we may fight in the way of Allah? He said, May it not be that you would not fight if fighting is ordained for you? They said, And what reason have we that we should not fight in the way of Allah? And we have indeed been compelled to abandon our homes and our children. But when fighting was ordained for them, they turned back except a few of them, and Allah knows the unjust. And their prophet said to them, Surely Allah has raised Talut to be a king over you. They said, How can he hold kinship over us, while we have a greater right to kingship than he, and he has not been granted an abundance of wealth? He said, Surely Allah has chosen him in preference to you, and he has increased him abundantly in knowledge and physique, and Allah grants his kingdom to whom he pleases, and Allah is ample giving, knowing. And the Prophet said to them, Surely the sign of his kingdom is that there shall come to you the chest in which there is tranquility from your Lord and residue of the relics of what the children of Musa and the children of Harun have left, the angels bearing it. Most surely there is a sign in this for those who believe. So when Talud departed with the forces, he said, Surely Allah will try you with a river. Whoever then drinks from it, he is not of me and whoever does not taste of it, he is surely of me, except he who takes with his hand as much of it as fills the hand. But with the exception of a few of them, they drank from it. So when he had crossed it, he and those who believed with him, they said, We have today no power against Galut and his forces. Those who were sure that they would meet their Lord said, how often has a small party vanquished a numerous host by Allah's permission and Allah is with the patient. And when they went out against Galut and his forces, they said, Our Lord, pour down upon us patience and make our steps firm and assist us against the unbelieving people. So they put them to fight by Allah's permission and the wood slew Galut and Allah gave him kingdom and wisdom and taught him of what he pleased. And were it not for Allah's repelling some men with others, the earth would certainly be in a state of disorder, but Allah is gracious to the creatures. These are the communications of Allah. We recite them to you with truth, and most surely you are one of the messengers. We have made some of these messengers to excel the others among them are they to whom Allah spoke, and some of them he exalted by many degrees of rank, and we gave clear miracles to Isa son of Maryam, and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit, and if Allah had pleased, those after them would not have fought one with another after clear arguments had come to them, but they disagreed, so there were some of them who believed, and others who denied. And if Allah had pleased, they would not have fought one with another. But Allah brings about what He intends. O you who believe, spend out of what we have given you before the day comes in which there is no bargaining. 
neither any friendship nor intercession and the unbelievers they are the unjust allah is he besides whom there is no god the ever living the self subsisting by whom all subsist slumber does not overtake him nor sleep whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is his who is he that can intercede with him but by his permission he knows what is before them and what is behind them and they cannot comprehend anything out of his knowledge except what he pleases his knowledge extends over the heavens and the earth and the preservation of them both tries him not and he is the most high the great there is no compulsion in religion truly the right way has become clearly distinct from error therefore whoever disbelieves in the shaitan and believes in allah he indeed has laid hold on the firmest handle which shall not break off and allah is hearing knowing allah is the guardian of those who believe he brings them out of the darkness into the light and as to those who disbelieve their guardians are shaitans who take them out of the light into the darkness they are the inmates of the fire in it they shall abide have you not considered him namrud who disputed with ibrahim about his lord because allah had given him the kingdom when ibrahim said my lord is he who gives life and causes to die he said i give life and cause death ibrahim said so surely allah causes the sun to rise from the east then make it rise from the west thus he who disbelieved was confounded and allah does not guide aright the unjust people or the like of him uzair who passed by a town and it had fallen down upon its roofs he said when will allah give it life after its death so allah caused him to die for a hundred years then raised him to life he said how long have you tarried he said i have tarried a day or a part of a day said he nay you have tarried a hundred years then look at your food and drink years have not passed over it and look at your ass and that we may make you a sign to men and look at the bones how we set them together then closed them with flesh so when it became clear to him he said i know that allah has power over all things and when ibrahim said my lord show me how thou givest life to the dead he said what and do you not believe he said yes but that my heart may be at ease he said then take four of the birds then train them to follow you then place on every mountain a part of them then call them they will come to you flying and know that allah is mighty wise the parable of those who spend their property in the way of allah is as the parable of a grain growing seven years with a hundred grains in every ear and allah multiplies for whom he pleases and allah is ample giving knowing as for those who spend their property in the way of allah then do not follow up what they have spent with reproach or injury they shall have their reward from their lord and they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve kind speech and forgiveness is better than charity followed by injury and allah is self-sufficient forbearing o you who believe do not make your charity worthless by reproach and injury like him who spends his property to be seen of men and does not believe in allah and the last day so his parable is as the parable of a smooth rock with earth upon it then a heavy rain falls upon it so it leaves it bare they shall not be able to gain anything of what they have earned and allah does not guide the unbelieving people and the parable of those who spend their property to seek the pleasure of allah and for the certainty of their souls is as the parable of a garden on an elevated ground upon which heavy rain falls so it brings forth its fruit twofold but if heavy rain does not fall upon it then light rain is sufficient and allah sees what you do does one of you like that he should have a garden of palms and vines with streams flowing beneath it he has in it all kinds of fruits and old age has overtaken him and he has weak offspring when lo 
a whirlwind with fire in it smites it so it becomes blasted thus allah makes the communications clear to you that you may reflect o you who believe spend benevolently of the good things that you earn and or what we have brought forth for you out of the earth and do not aim at what is bad that you may spend in alms of it while you would not take it yourselves unless you have its price lowered and know that allah is self-sufficient praiseworthy shaitan threatens you with poverty and enjoins you to be niggardly and allah promises you forgiveness from himself and abundance and allah is ample giving knowing he grants wisdom to whom he pleases and whoever is granted wisdom he indeed is given a great good and none but men of understanding mind and whatever alms you give or whatever vow you vow surely allah knows it and the unjust shall have no helpers if you give alms openly it is well and if you hide it and give it to the poor it is better for you and this will do away with some of your evil deeds and allah is aware of what you do to make them walk in the right way is not incumbent on you but allah guides aright whom he pleases and whatever good thing you spend it is to your own good and you do not spend but to seek allah's pleasure and whatever good things you spend shall be paid back to you in full and you shall not be wronged alms are for the poor who are confined in the way of allah they cannot go about in the land the ignorant man thinks them to be rich on account of their abstaining from begging you can recognize them by their mark they do not beg from men importunately and whatever good thing you spend surely allah knows it as for those who spend their property by night and by day secretly and openly they shall have their reward from their lord and they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve those who swallow down usury cannot arise except as one whom shaitan has prostrated by his touch does rise that is because they say trading is only like usury and allah has allowed trading and forbidden usury to whomsoever then the admonition has come from his lord then he desists he shall have what has already passed and his affair is in the hands of allah and whoever returns to it these are the inmates of the fire they shall abide in it allah does not bless usury and he causes charitable deeds to prosper and allah does not love any ungrateful sinner surely they who believe and do good deeds and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate they shall have their reward from their lord and they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve o you who believe be careful of your duty to allah and relinquish what remains due from usury if you are believers but if you do it not then be appraised of war from allah and his messenger and if you repent then you shall have your capital neither shall you make the debtor suffer loss nor shall you be made to suffer loss and if the debtor is in straightness then let there be postponement until he is in ease and that you remit it as alms is better for you if you knew and guard yourselves against a day in which you shall be returned to allah then every soul shall be paid back in full what it has earned and they shall not be dealt with unjustly o you who believe when you deal with each other in contracting a debt for a fixed time then write it down and let a scribe write it down between you with fairness and the scribe should not refuse to write as allah has taught him so he should write and let him who owes the debt dictate and he should be careful of his duty to allah his lord and not diminish anything from it but if he who owes the debt is unsound in understanding or weak or if he is not able to dictate himself let his guardian dictate with fairness and call in to witness from among your men two witnesses but if there are not two men then one man and two women from among those whom you choose to be witnesses so that if one of the two errs the second of the two may remind the other 
and the witnesses should not refuse when they are summoned and be not averse to writing it whether it is small or large with the time of its falling due this is more equitable in the sight of allah and assures greater accuracy in testimony and the nearest way that you may not entertain doubts afterwards except when it is ready merchandise which you give and take among yourselves from hand to hand then there is no blame on you in not writing it down and have witnesses when you barter with one another and let no harm be done to the scribe or to the witness and if you do it then surely it will be a transgression in you and be careful of your duty to allah allah teaches you and allah knows all things and if you are upon a journey and you do not find a scribe then there may be a security taken into possession but if one of you trusts another then he who is trusted should deliver his trust and let him be careful of his duty to allah his lord and do not conceal testimony and whoever concealed it his heart is surely sinful and allah knows what you do whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is allah's and whether you manifest what is in your minds or hide it allah will call you to account according to it then he will forgive whom he pleases and chastise whom he pleases and allah has power over all things the messenger believes in what has been revealed to him from his lord and so do the believers they all believe in allah and his angels and his books and his messengers we make no difference between any of his messengers and they say we hear and obey our lord thy forgiveness do we crave and to thee is the eventual course allah does not impose upon any soul a duty but to the extent of its ability for it is the benefit of what it has earned and upon it the evil of what it has wrought our lord do not punish us if we forget or make a mistake our lord do not lay on us a burden as thou didst lay on those before us our lord do not impose upon us that which we have not the strength to bear and pardon us and grant us protection and have mercy on us thou art our patron so help us against the unbelieving people end of surah 2 part 2surah 3 of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shaker this librivox recording is in the public domain surah 3 the family of imran al imran revealed at medina in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful alif lam mim allah there is no god but he the ever living the self-subsisting by whom all things subsist he has revealed to you the book with truth verifying that which is before it and he revealed the torah and the injil aforetime a guidance for the people and he sent the forkan surely they who disbelieve in the communications of allah they shall have a severe chastisement and Allah is mighty, the Lord of retribution. Allah, surely nothing is hidden from him in the earth or in the heaven. He it is who shapes you in the wombs as he likes. There is no God but he, the mighty, the wise. He it is who has revealed the book to you. Some of its verses are decisive they are the bases of the book and others are allegorical then as for those in whose hearts there is perversity they follow the part of it which is allegorical seeking to mislead and seeking to give it their own interpretation but none knows its interpretation except allah and those who are firmly rooted in knowledge say we believe in it it is all from our lord and none do mind except those having understanding our lord make not our hearts 
to deviate after thou hast guided us aright and grant us from thee mercy surely thou art the most liberal giver our lord surely thou art the gatherer of men on a day about which there is no doubt surely allah will not fail his promise as for those who disbelieve surely neither their wealth nor their children shall avail them in the least against allah and these it is who are the fuel of the fire like the striving of the people of Ferran and those before them they rejected our communications so allah destroyed them on account of their faults and allah is severe in requiting evil say to those who disbelieve you shall be vanquished and driven together to hell and evil is the resting place indeed there was a sign for you in the two hosts which met together in encounter one party fighting in the way of allah and the other unbelieving whom they saw twice as many as themselves with the sight of the eye and allah strengthens with his aid whom he pleases most surely there is a lesson in this for those who have sight the love of desires of women and sons and hoarded treasures of gold and silver and well-bred horses and cattle and tilth is made to seem fair to men this is the provision of the life of this world and allah is he with whom is the good goal of life say shall i tell you what is better than these for those who guard against evil are gardens with their lord beneath which rivers flow to abide in them and pure mates and allah's pleasure and allah sees the servants those who say our lord surely we believe therefore forgive us our faults and save us from the chastisement of the fire the patient and the truthful and the obedient and those who spend benevolently and those who ask forgiveness in the morning times allah bears witness that there is no god but he and so do the angels and those possessed of knowledge maintaining his creation with justice there is no god but he the mighty the wise surely the true religion with allah is islam and those to whom the book had been given did not show opposition but after knowledge had come to them out of envy among themselves and whoever disbelieves in the communications of allah then surely allah is quick in reckoning but if they dispute with you say i have submitted myself entirely to allah and so every one who follows me and say to those who have been given the book and the unlearned people do you submit yourselves so if they submit then indeed they follow the right way and if they turn back then upon you is only the delivery of the message and allah sees the servants surely as for those who disbelieve in the communications of allah and slay the prophets unjustly and slay those among men who enjoin justice announce to them a painful chastisement those are they whose works shall become null in this world as well as the hereafter and they shall have no helpers have you not considered those jews who are given a portion of the book they are invited to the book of allah that it might decide between them then a part of them turn back and they withdraw this is because they say the fire shall not touch us but for a few days and what they have forged 
deceives them in the matter of their religion then how will it be when we shall gather them together on a day about which there is no doubt and every soul shall be fully paid what it has earned and they shall not be dealt with unjustly say o allah master of the kingdom thou givest the kingdom to whomsoever thou pleasest and takest away the kingdom from whomsoever thou pleasest and thou exaltest whom thou pleasest and abasest whom thou pleasest in thine hand is the good surely thou hast power over all things thou makest the night to pass into the day and thou makest the day to pass into the night and thou bringest forth the living from the dead and thou bringest forth the dead from the living and thou givest sustenance to whom thou pleasest without measure let not the believers take the unbelievers for friends rather than believers and whoever does this he shall have nothing of the guardianship of allah but you should guard yourselves against them guarding carefully and allah makes you cautious of retribution from himself and to allah is the eventual coming say whether you hide what is in your hearts or manifest it allah knows it and he knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth and allah has power over all things on the day that every soul shall find present what it has done of good and what it has done of evil it shall wish that between it and that evil there were a long duration of time and allah makes you to be cautious of retribution from himself and allah is compassionate to the servants say if you love allah then follow me allah will love you and forgive you your faults and allah is forgiving merciful say obey allah and the messenger but if they turn back then surely allah does not love the unbelievers surely allah chose adam and nuh and the descendants of ibrahim and the descendants of imran above the nations offspring one of the other and allah is hearing knowing when a woman of imran said my lord surely i vow to thee what is in my womb to be devoted to thy service accept therefore from me surely thou art the hearing the knowing so when she brought forth she said my lord surely i have brought it forth a female and allah knew best what she brought forth and the male is not like the female and i have named it maryam and i commend her and her offspring into thy protection from the accursed shaitan so her lord accepted her with a good acceptance and made her grow up a good growing and gave her into the charge of zachariah whenever zachariah entered the sanctuary to see her he found with her food he said o maryam whence comes this to you she said it is from allah surely allah gives to whom he pleases without measure there did zachariah pray to his lord he said my lord grant me from thee good offspring surely thou art the hearer of prayer then the angels called to him as he stood praying in the sanctuary that allah gives you the good news of yahya verifying a word from allah and honorable and chaste and a prophet from among the good ones he said my lord when shall there be a son born to me and old age has already come upon me and my wife is barren he said even thus does allah what he pleases he said my lord appoint a sign for me said he 
your sign is that you should not speak to men for three days except by signs and remember your lord much and glorify him in the evening and the morning and when the angel said o maryam surely allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the world o maryam keep to the obedience to your lord and humble yourself and bow down with those who bow this is of the announcement relating to the unseen which we reveal to you and you were not with them when they cast their pens to decide which of them should have Maryam in his charge, and you were not with them when they contented one with another. When the angel said, O Maryam, surely Allah gives you good news with a word from him of one whose name is the Messiah, Isa son of Maryam, worthy of regard in this world and the hereafter and of those who are made near to Allah. And he shall speak to the people when in the cradle, and when of old age, and he shall be one of the good ones. She said, My Lord, when shall there be a son born to I me? And man has not touched me. He said, Even so Allah creates what he pleases, when he has decreed a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. And he will teach him the book, and the wisdom, and the Torah, and the Ingil, and make him a messenger to the children of Israel, that I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, that I determine for you out of dust like the form of a bird, then I breathe into it, and it becomes a bird, with Allah's permission. And I heal the blind and the leprous, and bring the dead to life with Allah's permission. And I inform you of what you should eat, and what you should store in your houses. Most surely there is a sign in this for you, if you are believers and a verifier of that which is before me of the Torah, and that I may allow you part of that which has been forbidden to you. And I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, therefore be careful of your duty to Allah, and obey me. Surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord, therefore serve him, this is the right path. But when Isa perceived unbelief on their part, he said, Who will be my helpers in Allah's way? The disciples said, We are helpers in the way of Allah. We believe in Allah and bear witness that we are submitting ones. Our Lord, we believe in what thou hast revealed, and we follow the messenger, so write us down with those who bear witness. And they planned, and Allah also planned, and Allah is the best of planners. And when Allah said, O Isa, I am going to terminate the period of your stay on earth, and cause you to ascend unto me, and purify you of those who disbelieve, and make those who follow you above those who disbelieve, to the day of resurrection, then to me shall be your return, so I will decide between you concerning that in which you differed. Then as to those who disbelieve, I will chastise them with severe chastisement in this world and the hereafter, and they shall have no helpers. And as to those who believe and do good deeds, he will pay them fully their rewards, and Allah does not love the unjust. This we recite to you of the communications and the wise reminder. Surely the likeness of Isa is with Allah as the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, Be, and he was. This is the truth from your Lord, 
so be not of the disputers but whoever disputes with you in this matter after what has come to you of knowledge then say come let us call our sons and your sons and our women and your women and our near people and your near people then let us be earnest in prayer and pray for the curse of allah on the liars most surely this is the true explanation and there is no god but allah and most surely allah he is the mighty the wise but if they turn back then surely allah knows the mischief makers say o followers of the book come to an equitable proposition between us and you that we shall not serve any but allah and that we shall not associate aught with him and that some of us shall not take others for lords besides allah but if they turn back then say bear witness that we are muslims o followers of the book why do you dispute about ibrahim when the Torah and the Injil were not revealed till after him, do you not then understand? Behold, you are they who disputed about that of which you had knowledge. Why then do you dispute about that of which you have no knowledge? And Allah knows while you do not know. Ibrahim was not a Jew nor a Christian, but he was an upright man a Muslim, and he was not one of the polytheists. Most surely the nearest of people to Ibrahim are those who followed him and this prophet and those who believe and Allah is the guardian of the believers. A party of the followers of the book desire that they should lead you astray and they lead not astray but themselves and they do not perceive. O followers of the book, why do you disbelieve in the communications of Allah while you witness them? O followers of the book, why do you confound the truth with the falsehood and hide the truth while you know? And a party of the followers of the book say, Avow believe in that which has been revealed to those who believe. In the first part of the day, and disbelieve at the end of it. Perhaps they go back on their religion, and do not believe but in him who follows your religion. Say, surely the true guidance is the guidance of Allah, that one may be given by him the like of what you were given, or they would contend with you by an argument before your Lord. Say, surely, grace is in the hand of allah he gives it to whom he pleases and allah is ample giving knowing he specially chooses for his mercy whom he pleases and allah is the lord of mighty grace and among the followers of the book there are some such that if you entrust one of them with a heap of wealth he shall pay it back to you and among them there are some such that if you entrust one of them with a dinar, he shall not pay it back to you except so long as you remain firm in demanding it. This is because they say there is not upon us in the matter of the unlearned people any way to reproach, and they tell a lie against Allah while they know. Yea, whoever fulfills his promise and guards against evil then surely allah loves those who guard against evil as for those who take a small price for the covenant of allah and their own oath surely they shall have no portion in the hereafter and allah will not speak to them nor will he look upon them on the day of resurrection nor will he purify them and they shall have a painful chastisement most surely there is a party amongst those who distort the book 
with their tongue that you may consider it to be a part of the book and they say it is from Allah while it is not from Allah and they tell a lie against Allah whilst they know it is not meet for a mortal that Allah should give him the book and the wisdom and prophethood then he should say to men be my servants rather than Allah's but rather he would say be worshippers of the Lord because of your teaching the book and your reading it yourselves and neither would he enjoin you that you should take the angels and the prophets for lords what would he enjoin you with unbelief after you are muslims and when allah made a covenant through the prophets certainly what i have given you of book and wisdom then a messenger comes to you verifying that which is with you you must believe in him and you must aid him he said do you affirm and accept my compact in this matter they said we do affirm he said then bear witness and i too am of the bearers of witness with you whoever therefore turns back after this these it is that are the transgressors is it then other than allah's religion that they seek to follow and to him submits whoever is in the heavens and the earth willingly or unwillingly and to him shall they be returned say we believe in allah and what has been revealed to us and what was revealed to ibrahim and ismail and ishaq and yaqub and the tribes and what was given to musa and isa and to the prophets from their lord we do not make any distinction between any of them and to him do we submit and whoever desires a religion other than islam it shall not be accepted from him and in the hereafter he shall be one of the losers how shall allah guide a people who disbelieved after their believing and after they had borne witness that the messenger was true and clear arguments had come to them and allah does not guide the unjust people as for these the reward is that upon them is the curse of allah and the angels and of men all together abiding in it their chastisement shall not be lightened nor shall they be respited except those who repent after that and amend then surely allah is forgiving merciful surely those who disbelieve after their believing then increase in unbelief their repentance shall not be accepted and these are they that go astray surely those who disbelieve and die while they are unbelievers the earth full of gold shall not be accepted from one of them though he should offer to ransom himself with it these it is who shall have a painful chastisement and they shall have no helpers by no means shall you attain to righteousness until you spend benevolently out of what you love and whatever thing you spend allah surely knows it all food was lawful to the children of israel except that which israel had forbidden to himself before the torah was revealed say bring then the torah and read it if you are truthful then whoever fabricates a lie against allah after this these it is that are the unjust say allah has spoken the truth therefore follow the religion of ibrahim the upright one and he was not one of the polytheists most surely the first house appointed for men is the one at bakka blessed and a guidance for the nations in it are clear signs the standing place of ibrahim and whoever enters it shall be secure and pilgrimage to the house is incumbent upon men for the sake of allah upon every one who is able to undertake the journey to it and whoever disbelieves 
then surely Allah is self-sufficient above any need of the world. Say, O followers of the book, why do you disbelieve in the communications of Allah and Allah is a witness of what you do? Say, O followers of the book, why do you hinder him who believes from the way of Allah? You seek to make it crooked while you are witness, and Allah is not heedless of what you do. O you who believe, if you obey a party from among those who have been given the book, they will turn you back as unbelievers after you have believed. But how can you disbelieve while it is you to whom the communications of Allah are recited, and among you is his messenger. And whoever holds fast to Allah, he indeed is guided to the right path. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah with the care which is due to him, and do not die unless you are Muslims. And hold fast by the covenant of Allah altogether, and be not disunited. And remember the favor of Allah on you when you were enemies. Then he united your hearts, so by his favor you became brethren, and you were on the brink of a pit of fire. Then he saved you from it. Thus does Allah make clear to you his communications, that you may follow the right way. And from among you there should be a party who invite to good and enjoin what is right and forbid the wrong. And these it is that shall be successful. And be not like those who became divided and disagreed after clear arguments had come to them. And these it is that shall have a grievous chastisement. On the day when some faces shall turn white and some faces shall turn black. Then as to those whose faces turn black, did you disbelieve after your believing? Taste therefore the chastisement because you disbelieved. And as to those whose faces turn white, they shall be in Allah's mercy. In it they shall abide. These are the communications of Allah which we recite to you with truth. And Allah does not desire any injustice to the creatures. And whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's. And to Allah all things return. You are the best of the nations raised up for the benefit of men. You enjoin what is right and forbid the wrong and believe in Allah. And if the followers of the book had believed it, would have been better for them. Of them some are believers and most of them are transgressors. They shall by no means harm you but with a slight evil. And if they fight with you, they shall turn their backs to you. Then shall they not be helped. Abasement is made to cleave to them wherever they are found except under a covenant with Allah and a covenant with men, and they have become deserving of wrath from Allah, and humiliation is made to cleave to them. This is because they disbelieved in the communications of Allah and slew the prophets unjustly. This is because they disobeyed and exceeded the limits. They are not all alike. Of the followers of the book, there is an upright party. They recite Allah's communications in the night time and they adore Him. They believe in Allah and the last day and they enjoin what is right and forbid the wrong. And they strive with one another in hastening to good deeds and those are among the good. And whatever good they do, they shall not be denied it. And Allah knows those who guard against evil. As for those who disbelieve, surely neither their wealth nor their children shall avail them in the least against Allah. And these are the inmates of the fire, therein they shall abide. 
the likeness of what they spend in the life of this world is as the likeness of wind in which is intense cold that smites the sea produce of a people who have done injustice to their souls and destroys it and allah is not unjust to them but they are unjust to themselves o you who believe do not take for the inmate friends from among others than your own people they do not fall short of inflicting loss upon you they love what distresses you vehement hatred has already appeared from out of their mouth and what their breasts conceal is greater still indeed we have made the communications clear to you if you will understand lo you are they who will love them while they do not love you and you believe in the book in the whole of it and when they meet you they say we believe and when they are alone they bite the ends of their fingers in rage against you say die in your rage surely allah knows what is in the breasts if good befalls you it grieves them and if an evil afflicts you they rejoice at it and if you are patient and guard yourselves their scheme will not injure you in any way surely allah comprehends what they do and when you did go forth early in the morning from your family to lodge the believers in encampments for war and allah is hearing knowing when two parties from among you had determined that they should show cowardice and allah was the guardian of them both and in allah should the believers trust and allah did certainly assist you at badr when you were weak be careful of your duty to allah then that you may give thanks when you said to the believers does it not suffice you that your lord should assist you with three thousand of the angels sent down yea if you remain patient and are on your guard and they come upon you in a headlong manner your lord will assist you with five thousand of the havoc making angels and allah did not make it but as good news for you and that your hearts might be at ease thereby and victory is only from allah the mighty the wise that he may cut off a portion from among those who disbelieve or abase them so that they should return disappointed of attaining what they desired you have no concern in the affair whether he turns to them mercifully or chastises them for surely they are unjust and whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is allah's he forgives whom he pleases and chastises whom he pleases and allah is forgiving merciful o you who believe do not devour usury make it double and redouble and be careful of your duty to allah that you may be successful and guard yourselves against the fire which has been prepared for the unbelievers and obey allah and the messenger that you may be shown mercy and hasten to forgiveness from your lord and a garden the extensiveness of which is as the heavens and the earth it is prepared for those who guard against evil those who spend benevolently in ease as well as in straightness and those who restrain their anger and pardon men and allah loves the doers of good to others and those who when they commit an indecency or do injustice to their souls remember allah and ask forgiveness for their faults and who forgives the faults but allah and who do not knowingly persist in what they have done as for these the reward is forgiveness from the lord 
and gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them and excellent is the reward of the laborers indeed there have been examples before you therefore travel in the earth and see what was the end of the rejecters this is a clear statement for men and a guidance and an admonition to those who guard against evil and be not infirm and be not grieving and you shall have the upper hand if you are believers if a wound has afflicted you at Uhud, a wound like it has also afflicted the unbelieving people and we bring these days to men by turns and that allah may know those who believe and take witnesses from among you and allah does not love the unjust and that he may purge those who believe and deprive the unbelievers of blessings do you think that you will enter the garden while allah has not yet known those who strive hard from among you and he has not known the patient and certainly you desired death before you met it so indeed you have seen it and you look at it and muhammad is no more than a messenger the messengers have already passed away before him if then he dies or is killed will you turn back upon your heels and whoever turns back upon his heels he will by no means do harm to allah in the least and allah will reward the grateful and a soul will not die but with the permission of allah the term is fixed and whoever desires the reward of this world i shall give him of it and whoever desires the reward of the hereafter i shall give him of it and i will reward the grateful and how many a prophet has fought with whom were many worshippers of the lord so they did not become weak-hearted on account of what befell them in allah's way nor did they weaken nor did they abase themselves and allah loves the patient and their saying was no other than that they said our lord forgive us our faults and our extravagance in our affair and make firm our feet and help us against the unbelieving people so allah gave them the reward of this world and better reward of the hereafter and allah loves those who do good to others o you who believe if you obey those who disbelieve they will turn you back upon your heels so you will turn back losers nay allah is your patron and he is the best of the helpers we will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve because they set up with allah that for which he has sent down no authority and their abode is the fire and evil is the abode of the unjust and certainly allah made good to you his promise when you slew them by his permission until when you became weak-hearted and disputed about the affair and disobeyed after he had shown you that which you loved of you were some who desired this world and of you were some who desired the hereafter then he turned you away from them that he might try you and he has certainly pardoned you and allah is gracious to the believers when you ran off precipitately and did not wait for anyone and the messenger was calling you from your rear so he gave you another sorrow instead of your sorrow so that you might not grieve at what had escaped you nor at what befell you and allah is aware of what you do then after sorrow he sent down security upon you a calm coming upon a party of you and there was another party 
whom their own souls had rendered anxious, they entertained about Allah thoughts of ignorance quite unjustly, saying, We have no hand in the affair. Say, Surely the affair is wholly in the hands of Allah. They conceal within their souls what they would not reveal to you. They say, Had we any hand in the affair, we would not have been slain here. Say, Had you remained in your houses, those for whom slaughter was ordained would certainly have gone forth to the places where they would be slain, and that Allah might test what was in your breasts and that he might purge what was in your hearts, and Allah knows what is in the breasts. As for those of you who turn back on the day when the two armies met, only the shaitan thought to cause them to make a slip on account of some deeds they had done, and certainly Allah has pardoned them. Surely Allah is forgiving, forbearing. O you who believe, be not like those who disbelieve and say of their brethren when they travel in the earth or engage in fighting. Had they been with us, they would not have died, and they would not have been slain. So Allah makes this to be an intense regret in their hearts, and Allah gives life and causes death, and Allah sees what you do. And if you are slain in the way of Allah, or you die, certainly forgiveness from Allah and mercy is better than what they amass. And if indeed you die or you are slain, certainly to Allah shall you be gathered together. Thus it is due to mercy from Allah that you deal with them gently. And had you been rough, hard-hearted, they would certainly have dispersed from around you. Pardon them therefore and ask pardon for them, and take counsel with them in the affair. So when you have decided, then place your trust in Allah. Surely Allah loves those who trust. If Allah assists you, then there is none that can overcome you. And if he forsakes you, who is there then? that can assist you after him. And on Allah should the believers rely. And it is not attributable to a prophet that he should act unfaithfully. And he who acts unfaithfully shall bring that in respect of which he has acted unfaithfully on the day of resurrection. Then shall every soul be paid back fully what it has earned, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Is then he who follows the pleasure of Allah like him, who has made himself deserving of displeasure from Allah? And his abode is hell, and it is an evil destination. There are varying grades with Allah, and Allah sees what they do. Certainly Allah conferred a benefit upon the believers when he raised among them a messenger from among themselves, reciting to them his communications and purifying them, and teaching them the book and the wisdom, although before that they were surely in manifest error. What? When a misfortune befell you, and you had certainly afflicted the unbelievers, with twice as much, you began to say, Whence is this? Say, It is from yourselves. Surely Allah has power over all things. And what befell you on the day when the two armies met at Uhud was with Allah's knowledge, and that he might know the believers, and that he might know the hypocrites, and it was said to them, Come, Fight in Allah's way, or defend yourselves. They said, If we knew fighting, we would certainly have followed you. They were on that day much nearer to unbelief than to belief. They say with their mouths what is not in their hearts, and Allah best knows what they conceal. 
those who said of their brethren whilst they themselves held back had they obeyed us they would not have been killed say then avert death from yourselves if you speak the truth and reckon not those who are killed in allah's way as dead nay they are alive and are provided sustenance from their lord rejoicing in what allah has given them out of his grace and they rejoice for the sake of those who being left behind them have not yet joined them that they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve they rejoice on account of favor from allah and his grace and that allah will not waste the reward of the believers as for those who responded at uhud to the call of allah and the messenger after the wound had befallen them those among them who do good to others and guard against evil shall have a great reward those to whom the people said surely men have gathered against you therefore fear them but this increased their faith and they said allah is sufficient for us and most excellent is the protector so they returned with favor from allah and his grace no evil touched them and they followed the pleasure of allah and allah is the lord of mighty grace it is only the shaitan that causes you to fear from his friends but do not fear them and fear me if you are believers and let not those grieve you who fall into unbelief hastily surely they can do no harm to allah at all allah intends that he should not give them any portion in the hereafter and they shall have a grievous chastisement surely those who have bought unbelief at the price of faith shall do no harm at all to allah and they shall have a painful chastisement and let not those who disbelieve think that our granting them respite is better for their souls we grant them respite only that they may add to their sins and they shall have a disgraceful chastisement on no account will allah leave the believers in the condition which you are in until he separates the evil from the good nor is allah going to make you acquainted with the unseen but allah chooses of his messengers whom he pleases therefore believe in allah and his messengers and if you believe and guard against evil then you shall have a great reward and let not those deem who are niggardly in giving away that which allah has granted them out of his grace that it is good for them nay it is worse for them they shall have that whereof they were niggardly made to cleave to their necks on the resurrection day and allah's is the heritage of the heavens and the earth and allah is aware of what you do allah has certainly heard the saying of those who said surely allah is poor and we are rich i will record what they say and their killing the prophets unjustly and i will say taste the chastisement of burning this is for what your own hands have sent before and because allah is not in the least unjust to the servants those are they who said surely allah has enjoined us that we should not believe in any messenger until he brings us an offering which the fire consumes say indeed there came to you messengers before me with clear arguments and with that which you demand why then did you kill them if you are truthful but if they reject you so indeed were rejected before you messengers who came with clear arguments and scriptures and the illuminating book every soul shall taste of death 
and you shall only be paid fully your reward on the resurrection day. Then whoever is removed far away from the fire and is made to enter the garden, he indeed has attained the object and the life of this world is nothing but a provision of vanities. You shall certainly be tried respecting your wealth and your souls and you shall certainly hear from those who have been given the book before you and from those who are polytheists much annoying talk and if you are patient and guard against evil surely this is one of the affairs which should be determined upon and when allah made a covenant with those who were given the book you shall certainly make it known to men and you shall not hide it but they cast it behind their backs and took a small price for it so evil is that which they buy do not think those who rejoice for what they have done and love that they should be praised for what they have not done so do by no means think them to be safe from the chastisement and they shall have a painful chastisement. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and Allah has power over all things. Most surely in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, there are signs for men who understand. Those who remember Allah standing and sitting and lying on their sides, and reflect on the creation of the heavens and the earth, our Lord, thou hast not created this in vain. Glory be to thee, save us then from the chastisement of the fire. Our Lord, surely whomsoever thou makest enter the fire, him thou hast indeed brought to disgrace, and there shall be no helpers for the unjust. Our Lord, Surely we have heard a preacher calling to the faith, saying, Believe in your Lord, so we did believe. Our Lord, forgive us therefore our faults, and cover our evil deeds, and make us die with the righteous. Our Lord, and grant us what thou hast promised us by thy messengers, and disgrace us not on the day of resurrection, Surely thou doubts not fail to perform the promise. So the Lord accepted their prayer that I will not waste the work of a worker among you, whether male or female, the one of you being from the other. They therefore who fled and were turned out of their homes and persecuted in my way and who fought and were slain, I will most certainly cover their evil deeds, and I will most certainly make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. A reward from Allah, and with Allah is yet better reward. Let it not deceive you that those who disbelieve go to and fro in the cities fearlessly. A brief enjoyment, then their abode is hell and evil is the resting place but as to those who are careful of their duty to their lord they shall have gardens beneath which rivers flow abiding in them an entertainment from their lord and that which is with allah is best for the righteous and most surely of the followers of the book there are those who believe in Allah and in that which has been revealed to you and in that which has been revealed to them. Being lowly before Allah, they do not take a small price for the communications of Allah. These it is that have their reward with their Lord. Surely Allah is quick in reckoning. O you who believe, be patient and excel in patience and remain steadfast and be careful of your duty to Allah that you may be successful. End of Surah 3 
Surah 4 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 4, Women, and Nisa, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, O people, be careful of your duty to your Lord, who created you from a single being and created its mate of the same kind, and spread from these two many men and women, and be careful of your duty to Allah, by whom you demand one of another your rights and to the ties of relationship surely allah ever watches over you and give to the orphans their property and do not substitute worthless things for their good ones and do not devour their property as an addition to your own property this is surely a great crime and if you fear that you cannot act equitably towards orphans then marry such women as seem good to you two and three and four but if you fear that you will not do justice between them then marry only one or what your right hands possess this is more proper that you may not deviate from the right course and give women their dowries as a free gift but if they of themselves be pleased to give up to you a portion of it then eat it with enjoyment and with wholesome result and do not give away your property which allah has made for you a means of support to the weak of understanding and maintain them out of the profits of it and clothe them and speak to them words of honest advice and test the orphans until they attain puberty then if you find in them maturity of intellect make over to them their property and do not consume it extravagantly and hastily lest they attain to full age and whoever is rich let him abstain altogether and whoever is poor let him eat reasonably then when you make over to them their property call witnesses in their presence and allah is enough as a reckoner men shall have a portion of what the parents and the near relatives leave and women shall have a portion of what the parents and the near relatives leave whether there is little or much of it a stated portion and when there are present at the division the relatives and the orphans and the needy give them something out of it and speak to them kind words and let those fear who should they leave behind them weakly offspring with fear on their account so let them be careful of their duty to allah and let them speak right words as for those who swallow the property of the orphans unjustly surely they only swallow fire into their bellies and they shall enter burning fire allah enjoins you concerning your children the male shall have the equal of the portion of two females then if they are more than two females they shall have two-thirds of what the deceased has left and if there is one she shall have the half as for his parents each of them shall have the six of what he has left if he has a child but if he has no child and only his two parents inherit him then his mother shall have the third 
but if he has brothers, then his mother shall have the six. After the payment of a bequest, he may have bequeathed or a debt. Your parents and your children, you know not which of them is the nearer to you in usefulness. This is an ordinance from Allah. Surely Allah is knowing wise. And you shall have half of what your wives leave if they have no child. But if they have a child, then you shall have a fourth of what they leave after payment of any bequest they may have bequeathed or a debt. And they shall have the fourth of what you leave if you have no child. But if you have a child, then they shall have the eighth of what you leave after payment of a bequest you may have bequeathed or a debt. And if a man or a woman leaves a property to be inherited by neither parents nor offspring, and he or she has a brother or a sister, then each of them two shall have the six. But if they are more than that, they shall be sharers in the third after payment of any bequest that may have been bequeathed or a debt that does not harm others. This is an ordinance from Allah, and Allah is knowing forbearing. These are Allah's limits, and whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide in them, and this is the great achievement. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger and goes beyond his limits, he will cause him to enter fire to abide in it and he shall have an abasing chastisement. And as for those who are guilty of an indecency from among your women, call to witnesses against them, four witnesses from among you. Then, if they bear witness, confine them to the houses until death takes them away, or Allah opens some way for them. And as for the two who are guilty of indecency from among you, give them both a punishment. Then if they repent and amend, turn aside from them. Surely Allah is oft returning to mercy the merciful. Repentance with Allah is only for those who do evil in ignorance. Then turn to Allah soon. So these it is to whom Allah turns mercifully, and Allah is ever knowing wise. And repentance is not for those who go on doing evil deeds, until when death comes to one of them, he says, Surely now I repent, nor for those who die while they are unbelievers. These are they for whom we have prepared a painful chastisement. O you who believe, it is not lawful for you that you should take women as heritage against their will, and do not straighten them in order that you may take part of what you have given them, unless they are guilty of manifest indecency, and treat them kindly. Then, if you hate them, it may be that you dislike a thing while Allah has placed abundant good in it. And if you wish to have one wife in place of another, and you have given one of them a heap of gold, then take not from it anything. Would you take it by slandering her and doing her manifest wrong? And how can you take it when one of you has already gone into the other and they have made with you a firm covenant? And marry not woman whom your fathers married, except what has already passed. This surely is indecent and hateful 
and it is an evil way. Forbidden to you are your mothers and your daughters and your sisters and your paternal aunts and your maternal aunts and brothers' daughters and sisters' daughters and your mothers that have suckled you and your foster sisters and mothers of your wives and your stepdaughters who are in your guardianship born of your wives to whom you have gone in but if you have not gone in to them there is no blame on you in marrying them and the wives of your sons who are of your own loins and that you should have two sisters together except what has already passed surely allah is forgiving merciful and all married women except those whom your right hands possess this is allah's ordinance to you and lawful for you are all women besides those provided that you seek them with your property taking them in marriage not committing fornication then as to those whom you profit by give them their dowries as appointed and there is no blame on you about what you mutually agree after what is appointed surely allah is knowing wise and whoever among you has not within his power ampleness of means to marry free believing women then he may marry of those whom your right hands possess from among your believing maidens and allah knows best your faith you are sprung the one from the other so marry them with the permission of their masters and give them their dowries justly they being chaste not fornicating nor receiving paramores and when they are taken in marriage then if they are guilty of indecency they shall suffer half the punishment which is inflicted upon free women this is for him among you who fears falling into evil and that you abstain is better for you and allah is forgiving merciful allah desires to explain to you and to guide you into the ways of those before you and to turn to you mercifully and allah is knowing wise and allah desires that he should turn to you mercifully and those who follow their lusts desire that you should deviate with a great deviation allah desires that he should make light your burdens and man is created weak o you who believe do not devour your property among yourselves falsely except that it be trading by your mutual consent and do not kill your people surely allah is merciful to you and whoever does this aggressively and unjustly we will soon cast him into fire and this is easy to allah if you shun the great sins which you are forbidden we will do away with your small sins and cause you to enter an honorable place of entering and do not covet that by which allah has made some of you excel others men shall have the benefit of what they earn and women shall have the benefit of what they earn and ask allah of his grace surely allah knows all things and to every one we have appointed heirs of what parents and near relatives leave and as to those with whom your right hands have ratified agreements give them their portion surely allah is a witness over all things 
Men are the maintainers of women because Allah has made some of them to excel others and because they spend out of their property. The good women are therefore obedient, guarding the unseen as Allah has guarded. And as to those on whose part you fear, desertion, admonish them. And leave them alone in the sleeping places and beat them. Then if they obey you, do not seek a way against them. Surely Allah is high, great. And if you fear a breach between the two, then appoint judge from his people and a judge from her people. If they both desire agreement, Allah will effect harmony between them. Surely Allah is knowing, aware, and serve Allah and do not associate anything with him, and be good to the parents and to the near of kin, and the orphans and the needy and the neighbor of your kin, and the alien neighbor, and the companion in a journey, and the wayfarer, and those whom your right hands possess. Surely Allah does not love him, who is proud, boastful. Those who are niggardly and bid people to be niggardly and hide what Allah has given them out of his grace, and we have prepared for the unbelievers a disgraceful chastisement. And those who spend their property in alms to be seen of the people and do not believe in Allah, nor in the last day, and as for him whose associate is the shaitan, an evil associate is he. And what harm would it have done them if they had believed in Allah, and the last day, and spent benevolently of what Allah had given them, and Allah knows them. Surely Allah does not do injustice to the weight of an atom, and if it is a good deed, he multiplies it and gives from himself a great reward. How will it be? Then when we bring from every people a witness and bring you as a witness against these, on that day will those who disbelieve and disobey the messenger desire that the earth were leveled with them, and they shall not hide any word from Allah. O you who believe, do not go near prayer when you are intoxicated until you know well what you say, nor when you are under an obligation to perform a bath unless you are traveling on the road, until you have washed yourselves, and if you are sick or on a journey, or one of you come from the privy, or you have touched the women, and you cannot find water, betake yourselves to pure earth. Then wipe your faces and your hands, surely Allah is pardoning, forgiving. Have you not considered those to whom a portion of the book has been given? They buy error and desire that you should go astray from the way. And Allah bestows your enemies, and Allah suffices as a guardian, and Allah suffices as a helper. Of those who are Jews, there are those who alter words from their places and say, we have heard and we disobey, and hear, may you not be made to hear, and Raina distorting the word with their tongues, and taunting about religion. And if they had said instead, we have heard and we obey, and hearken, and on Zorna, it would have been better for them and more upright. But Allah has cursed them on account of their unbelief, so they do not believe but a little. O you who have been given the book, 
Believe that which we have revealed, verifying what you have. Before we alter faces, then turn them on their backs, or curse them as we cursed the violators of the Sabbath, and the command of Allah shall be executed. Surely Allah does not forgive that anything should be associated with him and forgives what is besides that to whomsoever he pleases and whoever associates anything with Allah, he devises indeed a great sin. Have you not considered those who attribute purity to themselves? Nay, Allah purifies whom he pleases, and they shall not be wronged, the husk of a date stone. See how they forge the lie against Allah, and this is sufficient as a manifest sin. Have you not seen those to whom a portion of the book has been given? They believe in idols and false deities and say of those who disbelieve these are better guided in the path than those who believe those are they whom allah has cursed and whomever allah curses you shall not find any helper for him or have they a share in the kingdom but then they would not give to people even the speck in the date stone? Or do they envy the people for what Allah has given them of his grace? But indeed we have given to Ibrahim's children the book and the wisdom, and we have given them a grand kingdom. So of them is he who believes in him, and of them is he who turns away from him and hell is sufficient to burn. As for those who disbelieve in our communications, we shall make them enter fire, so oft as their skins are thoroughly burned. We will change them for other skins, that they may taste the chastisement. Surely Allah is mighty, wise. And as for those who believe and do good deeds, we will make them enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide in them forever. They shall have their impure mates, and we shall make them enter a dense shade. Surely Allah commands you to make over trusts to their owners, and that when you judge between people, you judge with justice. Surely Allah admonishes you with what is excellent. Surely Allah is seeing, hearing. O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the messenger and those in authority from among you, then, if you quarrel about anything, refer it to Allah and the Messenger. If you believe in Allah and the last day, this is better and very good in the end. Have you not seen those who assert that they believe in what has been revealed to you and what was revealed before you? They desire to summon one another to the judgment of the shaitan, though they were commanded to deny him, and the shaitan desires to lead them astray into a remote error. And when it is said to them, come to what Allah has revealed and to the messenger, you will see the hypocrites turning away from you with utter aversion. But how will it be when misfortune befalls them on account of what their hands have sent before? Then they will come to you swearing by Allah, we did not desire anything but good and conquered.
These are they of whom Allah knows what is in their hearts. Therefore turn aside from them and admonish them and speak to them effectual words concerning themselves. And we did not send any messenger, but that he should be obeyed by Allah's permission. And had they, when they were unjust to themselves, come to you and asked forgiveness of Allah, and the messenger had also asked forgiveness for them, they would have found Allah oft returning to mercy merciful. But no, by your Lord, they do not believe in reality until they make you a judge of that which has become a matter of disagreement among them. And then do not find any straightness in their hearts as to what you have decided and submit with entire submission. And if we had prescribed for them, lay down your lives or go forth from your homes, they would not have done it except a few of them. And if they had done what they were admonished, it would have certainly been better for them and best in strengthening them. And then we would certainly have given them from ourselves a great reward. And we would certainly have guided them in the right path. And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, these are with those upon whom Allah has bestowed favors from among the prophets and the truthful and the martyrs and the good and the goodly company are they. This is grace from Allah and sufficient is Allah as the knower. O you who believe, take your precaution then go forth in detachments or go forth in a body. And surely among you is he who would certainly hang back. If then a misfortune befalls you, he says, Surely Allah conferred a benefit on me that I was not present with them. And if grace from Allah come to you, he would certainly cry out as if there had not been any friendship between you and him. Would that I had been with them, then I should have attained a mighty good fortune. Therefore, let those fight in the way of Allah, who sell this world's life for the hereafter, and whoever fights in the way of Allah, then be he slain or be he victorious. We shall grant him a mighty reward. And what reason have you that you should not fight in the way of Allah and of the weak among the men and the women and the children? Of those who say, Our Lord, cause us to go forth from this town, whose people are oppressors, and give us from thee a guardian, and give us from thee a helper. Those who believe fight in the way of Allah, and those who disbelieve fight in the way of the shaitan. Fight therefore against the friends of the shaitan. Surely the strategy of the shaitan is weak. Have you not seen those to whom it was said, Withhold your hands, and keep up prayer, and pay the poor rate, but when fighting is prescribed for them, lo, a party of them fear men as they ought to have feared Allah, or even with a greater fear, and say, Our Lord, why hast thou ordained fighting for us? Wherefore didst thou not grant us a delay to a near end? Say the provision of this world is short, 
and the hereafter is better for him who guards against evil. And you shall not be wronged the husk of a dead stone. Wherever you are, death will overtake you. Thou you are in lofty towers, and if a benefit comes to them, they say, This is from Allah, and if a misfortune befalls them, they say, This is from you, say, All is from Allah, but what is the matter with these people, that they do not make approach to understanding what is told them? Whatever benefit comes to you, O man, it is from Allah, and whatever misfortune befalls you, it is from yourself. And we have sent you, O Prophet, to mankind as a messenger, and Allah is sufficient as a witness. Whoever obeys the messenger, he indeed obeys Allah, and whoever turns back, so we have not sent you as a keeper over them. And they say obedience, but when they go out from your presence, a party of them decide by night upon doing otherwise than what you say. And Allah writes down what they decide by night. Therefore turn aside from them and trust in Allah. And Allah is sufficient as a protector. Do they not then meditate on the Quran? And if it were from any other than Allah, they would have found in it many a discrepancy. And when there comes to them news of security or fear, they spread it abroad. And if they had referred it to the messenger, and to those in authority among them, those among them who can search out the knowledge of it would have known it. And were it not for the grace of Allah upon you and his mercy, you would have certainly followed the shaitan, save a few. Fight then in Allah's way. This is not imposed on you except in relation to yourself. And rouse the believers to ardor. Maybe Allah will restrain the fighting of those who disbelieve. And Allah is strongest in prowess and the strongest to give an exemplary punishment. Whoever joins himself to another in a good cause shall have a share of it, and whoever joins himself to another in an evil cause shall have the responsibility of it, and Allah controls all things. And when you are greeted with a greeting, greet with a better greeting than it or return it. Surely Allah takes account of all things. Allah, there is no God but He. He will most certainly gather you together on the resurrection day. There is no doubt in it, and who is more true in word than Allah? What is the matter with you, then, that you have become two parties about the hypocrites, while Allah has made them return to unbelief for what they have earned? Do you wish to guide him whom Allah has caused to err? And whomsoever Allah causes to err, you shall by no means find a way for him. They desire that you should disbelieve as they have disbelieved, so that you might be all alike. Therefore, take not from among them friends until they fly their homes in Allah's way. But if they turn back, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them. And take not from among them a friend or a helper, except those who reach a people between whom and you there is an alliance or who come to you, their hearts shrinking from fighting you or fighting their own people. 
And if Allah had pleased, he would have given them power over you so that they should have certainly fought you. Therefore, if they withdraw from you and do not fight you and offer you peace, then Allah has not given you a way against them. You will find others who desire that they should be safe from you and secure from their own people, as often as they are sent back to the mischief they get thrown into it headlong. Therefore, if they do not withdraw from you and do not offer you peace and restrain their hands, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them. And against these we have given you a clear authority. And it does not behoove a believer to kill a believer except by mistake. And whoever kills a believer by mistake, he should free a believing slave. And blood money should be paid to his people unless they remit it as alms. But if he be from a tribe hostile to you, and he is a believer, the freeing of a believing slave suffices and if he is from a tribe between whom and you there is a covenant, the blood money should be paid to his people along with the freeing of a believing slave. But he who cannot find a slave should fast for two months successively. A penance from Allah, and Allah is knowing wise. And whoever kills a believer intentionally, his punishment is hell. He shall abide in it, and Allah will send his wrath on him and curse him and prepare for him a painful chastisement. O you who believe, when you go to war in Allah's way, make investigation. And do not say to anyone who offers you peace, you are not a believer. Do you seek goods of this world's life? But with Allah there are abundant gains. You too were such before. Then Allah conferred a benefit on you. Therefore make investigation. Surely Allah is aware of what you do. The holders back from among the believers not having any injury, and those who strive hard in Allah's way with their property and their persons are not equal. Allah has made the strivers with their property and their persons to excel the holders back a high degree. And to each class, Allah has promised good and Allah shall grant to the strivers above the holders back a mighty reward. High degrees from him and protection and mercy, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. Surely as for those whom the angels cause to die while they are unjust to their souls, they shall say, In what state were you? They shall say, we were weak in the earth. They shall say, Was not Allah's earth spacious, so that you should have migrated therein? So these it is whose abode is hell, and it is an evil resort. Except the weak from among the men and the children who have not in their power the means, nor can they find a way to escape. So these, it may be, Allah will pardon them, and Allah is pardoning, forgiving, and whoever flies in Allah's way, he will find in the earth many a place of refuge and abundant resources, and whoever goes forth from his house, flying to Allah and his messenger, and then death overtakes him, 
His reward is indeed with Allah, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. And when you journey in the earth, there is no blame on you if you shorten the prayer, if you fear that those who disbelieve will cause you distress. Surely the unbelievers are your open enemy. And when you are among them and keep up the prayer for them, let a party of them stand up with you, and let them take their arms. Then, when they have prostrated themselves, let them go to your rear, and let another party who have not prayed come forward and pray with you, and let them take their precautions and their arms for those who disbelieve, desire that you may be careless of your arms and your luggage, so that they may then turn upon with you a sudden united attack, and there is no blame on you. If you are annoyed with rain or if you are sick, that you lay down your arms and take your precautions, Surely Allah has prepared a disgraceful chastisement for the unbelievers. Then, when you have finished the prayer, remember Allah standing and sitting and reclining. But when you are secure from danger, keep up prayer. Surely prayer is a timed ordinance for the believers." And be not weak-hearted in pursuit of the enemy. If you suffer pain, then surely they too suffer pain as you suffer pain. And you hope from Allah what they do not hope. And Allah is knowing wise. Surely we have revealed the book to you with the truth that you may judge between people by means of that which Allah has taught you. And be not an advocate on behalf of the treacherous. And ask forgiveness of Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And do not plead on behalf of those who act unfaithfully to their souls. Surely Allah does not love him who is treacherous, sinful. They hide themselves from men and do not hide themselves from Allah. And he is with them when they meditate by night words which please him not. And Allah encompasses what they do. Behold, you are they who may plead for them in this world's life. But who will plead for them with Allah on the resurrection day? Or who shall be their protector? And whoever does evil or acts unjustly to his soul, then asks forgiveness of Allah. He shall find Allah forgiving, merciful. And whoever commits a sin, he only commits it against his own soul. And Allah is knowing wise. And whoever commits a fault or a sin, then accuses of it one innocent, he indeed takes upon himself the burden of a calamity and a manifest sin. And were it not for Allah's grace upon you and his mercy, a party of them had certainly designed to bring you to perdition, and they do not bring aught to perdition, but their own souls, and they shall not harm you in any way. And Allah has revealed to you the book and the wisdom, and he has taught you what you did not know, and Allah's grace on you is very great. There is no good in most of their secret counsels, except in his own enjoins charity, or goodness or reconciliation between people, and whoever does this seeking Allah's pleasure, we will give him a mighty reward. And whoever acts hostilely, 
to the messenger after that guidance has become manifest to him and follows other than the way of the believers we will turn him to that to which he has himself turned and make him enter hell and it is an evil resort surely allah does not forgive that anything should be associated with him and he forgives what is besides this to whom he pleases and whoever associates anything with allah he indeed strays off into a remote error they do not call besides him on anything but idols and they do not call on anything but a rebellious shaitan allah has cursed him and he said most certainly i will take of thy servants an appointed portion and most certainly i will lead them astray and excite in them vain desires and bid them so that they shall slit the ears of the cattle and most certainly i will bid them so that they shall alter allah's creation and whoever takes the shaitan for a guardian rather than allah he indeed shall suffer a manifest loss he gives them promises and excites vain desires in them and the shaitan does not promise them but to deceive these are they whose abode is hell and they shall not find any refuge from it and as for those who believe and do good we will make them enter into gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide therein forever it is a promise of allah true indeed and who is truer of word than allah this shall not be in accordance with your vain desires nor in accordance with the vain desires of the followers of the book whoever does evil he shall be requited with it and besides allah he will find for himself neither a guardian nor a helper and whoever does good deeds whether male or female and he or she is a believer these shall enter the garden and they shall not be dealt with a jot unjustly and who has a better religion than he who submits himself entirely to allah and he is the doer of good to others and follows the faith of ibrahim the upright one and allah took ibrahim as a friend and whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is allah's and allah encompasses all things and they ask you a decision about women say allah makes known to you his decision concerning them and that which is recited to you in the book concerning female orphans whom you do not give what is appointed for them while you desire to marry them and concerning the weak among children and that you should deal towards orphans with equity and whatever good you do allah surely knows it and if a woman fears ill usage or desertion on the part of her husband there is no blame on them if they effect a reconciliation between them and reconciliation is better and avarice has been made to be present in the people's minds and if you do good to others and guard against evil then surely allah is aware of what you do and you have it not in your power to do justice between wives even though you may wish it but be not disclined from one with total disinclination so that you leave her as it were in suspense 
And if you effect a reconciliation and guard against evil, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And if they separate, Allah will render them both free from want out of his ampleness. And Allah is ample, giving, wise. And whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's. And certainly we enjoin those who were given the book before you, and we enjoin you too, that you should be careful of your duty to Allah. And if you disbelieve, then surely whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's, and Allah is self-sufficient, praiseworthy. And whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's, and Allah is sufficient as a protector. If he please, he can make you pass away, O people, and bring others, and Allah has the power to do this. Whoever desires the reward of this world, then with Allah is the reward of this world and the hereafter, and Allah is hearing, seeing. O you who believe, be maintainers of justice, bearers of witness of Allah's sake, though it may be against your own selves or your parents or near relatives. If he be rich or poor, Allah is nearer to them both in compassion. Therefore, do not follow your low desires, lest you deviate. And if you swerve or turn aside, then surely Allah is aware of what you do. O you who believe, believe in Allah and his messenger and the book which he has revealed to his messenger and the book which he revealed before. And whoever disbelieves in Allah and his angels and his messengers and the last day, he indeed strays off into a remote error. Surely as for those who believe then disbelieve, again believe and again disbelieve, then increase in disbelief, Allah will not forgive them nor guide them in the right path. Announce to the hypocrites that they shall have a painful chastisement. Those who take the unbelievers for guardians rather than believers, do they seek honor from them? Then surely all honor is for Allah. And indeed he has revealed to you in the book that when you hear Allah's communications disbelieved in and mocked at, do not sit with them until they enter into some other discourse. Surely then you would be like them. Surely Allah will gather together the hypocrites and the unbelievers all in hell. Those who wait for some misfortune to befall you, then if you have a victory from Allah, they say, were we not with you? And if there is a chance for the unbelievers, they say, did we not acquire the mastery over you and defend you from the believers? So Allah shall judge between you on the day of resurrection. And Allah will by no means give the unbelievers away against the believers. Surely the hypocrites strive to deceive Allah, and he shall requite their deceit to them. And when they stand up to prayer, they stand up sluggishly. They do it only to be seen of men and do not remember Allah save a little. Wavering between that and this belonging neither to these nor to those, and whosoever Allah causes to err, you shall not find a way for him. 
O you who believe, do not take the unbelievers for friends rather than the believers. Do you desire that you should give to Allah a manifest proof against yourselves? Surely the hypocrites are in the lowest stage of the fire, and you shall not find a helper for them. Except those who repent and amend and hold fast to Allah and are sincere in their religion to Allah. These are with the believers, and Allah will grant the believers a mighty reward. Why should Allah chastise you if you are grateful and believe? And Allah is the multiplier of rewards. Knowing, Allah does not love the public utterance of hurtful speech unless it be by one to whom injustice has been done, and Allah is hearing, knowing. If you do good openly or do it in secret or pardon an evil, then surely Allah is pardoning powerful. Surely those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers and those who desire to make a distinction between Allah and his messengers and say, we believe in some and disbelieve in others and desire to take a course between this and that. These it is that are truly unbelievers and we have prepared for the unbelievers a disgraceful chastisement. And those who believe in Allah and his messengers and do not make a distinction between any of them, Allah will grant them their rewards, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. The followers of the book ask you to bring down to them a book from heaven. So indeed they demanded of Musa a greater thing than that. For they said, Show us Allah manifestly. So the lightning overtook them on account of their injustice. Then they took the calf for a god, after clear signs had come to them. But we pardoned this, and we gave to Musa clear authority. And we lifted the mountain Sinai over them, at the taking of the covenant. And we said to them, Enter the door making obeisance. And we said to them, Do not exceed the limits of the Sabbath. And we made with them a firm covenant. Therefore, for their breaking their covenant and their disbelief in the communications of Allah and their killing the prophets wrongfully, and their saying, Our hearts are covered. Nay, Allah set a seal upon them owing to their unbelief. So they shall not believe except a few. And for their unbelief and for their having uttered against Maryam a grievous calumny, and their saying, Surely we have killed the Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But it appeared to them so like Isa. And most surely those who differ therein are only in a doubt about it. They have no knowledge respecting it, but only follow a conjecture and they killed him not for sure. Nay, Allah took him up to himself, and Allah is mighty wise. And there is not one of the followers of the book, but most certainly believes in this before his death. And on the day of resurrection, he, Isa, shall be a witness against them. Wherefore, for the iniquity of those who are Jews, did we disallow to them the good things which had been made lawful for them, and for their hindering many people from Allah's way. 
and their taking usury, though indeed they were forbidden it, and their devouring the property of people falsely. And we have prepared for the unbelievers from among them a painful chastisement. But the firm in knowledge among them and the believers believe in what has been revealed to you and what was revealed before you. And those who keep up prayers and those who give the poor rate and the believers in Allah and the last day, these it is whom we will give a mighty reward. Surely we have revealed to you as we revealed to Nuh and the prophets after him, and we revealed to Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Jacob and the tribes and Isa and Ayub and Yunus and Harun and Suleiman, and we gave to the wood psalms. And we sent messengers we have mentioned to you before, and messengers we have not mentioned to you. And to Musa, Allah addressed his word speaking to him. We sent messengers as the givers of good news and as warners, so that people should not have a plea against Allah after the coming of messengers, and Allah is mighty wise. But Allah bears witness by what he has revealed to you that he has revealed it with his knowledge, and the angels bear witness also, and Allah is sufficient as a witness. Surely as for those who disbelieve and hinder men from Allah's way, they indeed have strayed off into a remote error. Surely as for those who disbelieve and act unjustly, Allah will not forgive them nor guide them to a path, except the path of hell, to abide in it forever, and this is easy to Allah. O people, surely the messenger has come to you with the truth from your Lord. Therefore believe. It shall be good for you, and if you disbelieve, then surely whatever is in the heavens and the earth is Allah's, and Allah is knowing wise. O followers of the book, do not exceed the limits in your religion and do not speak lies against Allah, but speak the truth. The Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam, is only a messenger of Allah, and his word which he communicated to Maryam and a spirit from him. Believe therefore in Allah and his messengers, and say not three, desist it is better for you, Allah is only one Allah, far be it from his glory that he should have a son. Whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is his, and Allah is sufficient for a protector. The Messiah does by no means disdain that he should be a servant of Allah, nor do the angels who are near to him and whoever disdains his service and is proud, he will gather them all together to himself. Then as for those who believe and do good, he will pay them fully their rewards and give them more out of his grace. And as for those who disdain and are proud, he will chastise them with a painful chastisement. And they shall not find for themselves besides Allah a guardian or a helper. O people, surely there has come to you manifest proof from your Lord, and we have sent to you clear light. Then as for those who believe in Allah and hold fast by him, he will cause them to enter into his mercy and grace and guide them to himself on a right path. 
They ask you for a decision of the law. Say Allah gives you a decision concerning the person who has neither parents nor offspring. If a man dies and he has no son and he has a sister, she shall have half of what he leaves, and he shall be her heir, she has no son. But if there be two sisters, they shall have two-thirds of what he leaves. And if there are brethren, men and women, then the male shall have the like of the portion of two females. Allah makes clear to you, lest you err, and Allah knows all things. End of Surah 4 Surah 5 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 5, The Table, Al-Ma'idah, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who believe, fulfill the obligations the cattle quadrupeds are allowed to you except that which is recited to you, not violating the prohibition against the game when you are entering upon the performance of the pilgrimage. Surely Allah orders what he desires. O you who believe, do not violate the signs appointed by Allah nor the sacred month, nor interfere with the offerings, nor the sacrificial animals with garlands, nor those going to the sacred house seeking the grace and pleasure of their Lord. And when you are free from the obligations of the pilgrimage, then hunt, and let not hatred of a people because they hindered you from the sacred masjid, incite you to exceed the limits, and help one another in goodness and piety, and do not help one another in sin and aggression. And be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is severe in requiting evil. Forbidden to you is that which dies of itself, and blood, and flesh of swine, and that on which any other name than that of Allah has been invoked, and the strangled animal, and that beaten to death, and that killed by a fool, and that killed by being smitten with the horn and that which wild beasts have eaten, except what you slaughter, and what is sacrificed on stones, set up for idols, and that you divide by the arrows, that is a transgression. This day have those who disbelieve the spurred of your religion, so fear them not and fear me. This day have I perfected for you your religion and completed my favor on you and chosen for you Islam as a religion. But whoever is compelled by hunger, not inclining willfully to sin, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. They ask you as to what is allowed to them. Say the good things are allowed to you, and what you have taught the beasts and birds of prey, training them to hunt, you teach them of what Allah has taught you. So eat of that which they catch for you, and mention the name of Allah over it, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is swift in reckoning. This day all the good things are allowed to you, and the food of those who have been given the book is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them, 
and the chest from among the believing women and the chest from among those who have been given the book before you are lawful for you when you have given them their dowries taking them in marriage not fornicating nor taking them for paramours in secret and whoever denies faith his work indeed is of no account and in the hereafter he shall be one of the losers o you who believe when you rise up to prayer wash your faces and your hands as far as the elbows and wipe your heads and your feet to the ankles and if you are under an obligation to perform a total ablution then wash yourselves and if you are sick or on a journey or one of you come from the privy or you have touched the, the women and you cannot find water betake yourselves to pure earth and wipe your faces and your hands therewith allah does not desire to put on you any difficulty but he wishes to purify you and that he may complete his favor on you so that you may be grateful and remember the favor of allah on you and his covenant with which he bound you firmly when you said we have heard and we obey and be careful of your duty to allah surely allah knows what is in the breasts o you who believe be upright for allah bearers of witness with justice and let not hatred of a people incite you not to act equitably act equitably that is nearer to piety and he careful of your duty to allah surely allah is aware of what you do allah has promised to those who believe and do good deeds that they shall have forgiveness and a mighty reward and as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications these are the companions of the name o you who believe remember allah's favor on you when a people had determined to stretch forth their hands towards you but he withheld their hands from you and be careful of your duty to allah and on allah let the believers rely and certainly allah made a covenant with the children of israel and we raised up among them 12 chieftains and allah said surely i am with you if you keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and believe in my messengers and assist them and offer to allah a goodly gift i will most certainly cover your evil deeds and i will most certainly cause you to enter into gardens beneath which rivers float but whoever disbelieves from among you after that he indeed shall lose the right way but on account of their breaking their covenant we cursed them and made their hearts hard they altered the words from their places and they neglected a portion of what they were reminded of and you shall always discover treachery in them excepting a few of them so pardon them and turn away surely allah loves those who do good to others and with those who say we are christians we made a covenant but they neglected a portion of what they were reminded of therefore we excited among them enmity and hatred to the day of resurrection and allah will inform them of what they did
O followers of the book, indeed our messenger has come to you making clear to you much of what you concealed of the book and passing over much indeed. There has come to you light and a clear book from Allah. With it, Allah guides him who will follow his pleasure into the ways of safety and brings them out of utter darkness into light by his will and guides them to the right path. Certainly they disbelieve who say, Surely Allah, he is the Messiah, son of Maryam. Say who then could control anything as against Allah? when he wished to destroy the Messiah son of Maryam and his mother and all those on the earth, and Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is between them. He creates what he pleases, and Allah has power over all things. And the Jews and the Christians say, We are the sons of Allah, and his beloved ones. Say, why does he then chastise you for your faults? Nay, you are mortals from among those whom he has created. He forgives whom he pleases and chastises whom he pleases. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is between them and to him is the eventual coming. O followers of the book, indeed our messenger has come to you, explaining to you after a cessation of the mission of the messengers, lest you say, There came not to us a giver of good news or a warner. So indeed there has come to you a giver of good news and a warner, and Allah has power over all things. And when Musa said to his people, O my people, remember the favor of Allah upon you, when he raised prophets among you and made you kings and gave you what he had not given to any other among the nations, O my people, enter the holy land which Allah has prescribed for you and turn not on your backs, for then you will turn back losers. They said, O Musa, surely there is a strong grace in it, and we will on no account enter it until they go out from it. So if they go out from it, then surely we will enter. Two men of those who feared, upon both of whom Allah had bestowed a favor, said, Enter upon them by the gate, for when you have entered it, you shall surely be victorious, and on Allah should you rely if you are believers. They said, O Musa, we shall never enter it so long as they are in it. Go therefore you and your Lord, then fight you both, surely we will here sit down. He said, My Lord, surely I have no control upon any but my own self and my brother. Therefore make a separation between us and the nation of transgressors. He said, So it shall surely be forbidden to them for forty years. They shall wander about in the land. Therefore do not grieve for the nation of transgressors. And relate to them the story of the two sons of Adam with truth when they both offered an offering. But it was accepted from one of them and was not accepted from the other. He said, I will most certainly slay you. The other said, Allah only accepts from those who guard against evil. 
if you will stretch forth your hand towards me to slay me, I am not one to stretch forth my hand towards you to slay you. Surely I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Surely I wish that you should bear the sin committed against me and your own sin, and so you would be of the inmates of the fire, and this is the recompense of the unjust. Then his mind facilitated to him the slaying of his brother, so he slew him. Then he became one of the losers. Then Allah sent a crow digging up the earth so that he might show him how he should cover the dead body of his brother. He said, Woo, me! Do I lack the strength that I should be like this crow and cover the dead body of my brother? So he became of those who regret. For this reason did we prescribe to the children of Israel that whoever slays a soul, unless it be for manslaughter or for mischief in the land, it is as though he slew all men, and whoever keeps it alive, it is as though he kept alive all men, and certainly our messengers came to them with clear arguments. But even after that, many of them certainly act extravagantly in the land. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messengers and strive to make mischief in the land is only this, that they should be murdered or crucified or their hands and their feet should be cut off on opposite sides or they should be imprisoned, this shall be as a disgrace for them in this world and in the hereafter they shall have a grievous chastisement except those who repent before you have them in your power. So know that Allah is forgiving, merciful. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah, and seek means of nearness to him, and strive hard in his way that you may be successful. Surely as for those who disbelieve, even if they had what is in the earth, all of it and the like of it with it, that they might ransom themselves with it from the punishment of the day of resurrection. It shall not be accepted from them, and they shall have a painful punishment. They would desire to go forth from the fire, and they shall not go forth from it and they shall have a lasting punishment. And as for the man who steals and the woman who steals, cut off their hands as a punishment for what they have earned, an exemplary punishment from Allah, and Allah is mighty, wise. But whoever repents after his iniquity and reforms himself, then surely Allah will turn to him mercifully. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Do you not know that Allah, his is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth? He chastises whom he pleases and forgives whom he pleases. And Allah has power over all things. O messenger, let not those grieve you who strive together in hastening to unbelief from among those who say with their mouth, We believe, and their hearts do not believe. And from among those who are Jews, they are listeners for the sake of a lie, listeners for another people who have not come to you. They alter the words from their places, saying, If you are given this, 
take it. And if you are not given this, be cautious. And as for him whose temptation Allah desires, you cannot control anything for him with Allah. Those are they for whom Allah does not desire that he should purify their hearts. They shall have disgrace in this world and they shall have a grievous chastisement in the hereafter. They are listeners of a lie, devourers of what is forbidden. Therefore, if they come to you, judge between them or turn aside from them. And if you turn aside from them, they shall not harm you in any way. And if you judge, judge between them with equity. Surely Allah loves those who judge equitably. And how do they make you a judge? And they have the Torah, wherein is Allah's judgment. Yet they turn back after that, and these are not the believers. Surely we revealed the Torah in which was guidance and light. With it, the prophets who submitted themselves to Allah judged matters for those who were Jews and the masters of divine knowledge and the doctors because they were required to guard part of the book of Allah and they were witnesses thereof. Therefore, fear not the people and fear me. And do not take a small price for my communications. And whoever did not judge by what Allah revealed, those are they that are the unbelievers. And we prescribe to them in it that life is for life, and eye for eye, and nose for nose, and ear for ear, and tooth for tooth, and that there is reprisal in wounds, but he who forgoes it, it shall be an expiation for him. And whoever did not judge by what Allah revealed, those are they that are the unjust. And we sent after them in their footsteps, Isa, son of Maryam verifying what was before him of the Torah, and we gave him the Injil in which was guidance and light, and verifying what was before it of Torah, and a guidance and an admonition for those who guard against evil. And the followers of the Injil should have judged by what Allah revealed in it, and whoever did not judge by what Allah revealed, those are they that are the transgressors. And we have revealed to you the book with the truth, verifying what is before it of the book, and a guardian over it. Therefore judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their low desires to turn away from the truth that has come to you. For every one of you did we appoint a law and a way, and if Allah had pleased, he would have made you all a single people, but that he might try you in what he gave you. Therefore strive with one another to hasten to virtuous deeds. To Allah is your return, of all of you, so he will let you know that in which you differed, and that you should judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their low desires, and be cautious of them, lest they seduce you from part of what Allah has revealed to you. But if they turn back, then know that Allah desires to afflict them on account of some of their faults, and most surely many of the people are transgressors. Is it then the judgment of the times of ignorance that they desire? And who is better than Allah to judge 
for a people who are sure. O you who believe, do not take the Jews and the Christians for friends. They are friends of each other, and whoever among us you takes them for a friend, then surely he is one of them. Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people, but you will see those in whose hearts is a disease hastening towards them, saying, We fear lest a calamity should befall us, but it may be that Allah will bring the victory or a punishment from himself, so that they shall be regretting on account of what they hid in their souls. And those who believe will say, Are these they who swore by Allah with the most forcible of their oath that they were most truly with you? Their deeds shall go for nothing, so they shall become losers. O you who believe, whoever from among you turns back from his religion, then Allah will bring a people, he shall love them and they shall love him, lowly before the believers, mighty against the unbelievers. They shall strive hard in Allah's way and shall not fear the censure of any censurer. This is Allah's face. He gives it to whom he pleases, and Allah is ample, giving knowing. Only Allah is your valley and his messenger, and those who believe, those who keep up prayers and pay the poor rate while they bow. And whoever takes Allah and his messenger, and those who believe for a guardian, then surely the party of Allah are they that shall be triumphant. O you who believe, do not take for guardians those who take your religion for a mockery and a joke from among those who were given the book before you and the unbelievers, and be careful of your duty to Allah if you are believers. And when you call to prayer, they make it a mockery and a joke. This is because they are a people who do not understand. Say, O followers of the book, do you find fault with us for aught, except that we believe in Allah and in what has been revealed to us and what was revealed before, and that most of you are transgressors? Say, shall I inform you of him who is worse than this in retribution from Allah? Worse is he whom Allah has cursed and brought his wrath upon, and of whom he made apes and swine, and he who served the shaitan. These are worse in place and more erring from the straight path. And when they come to you, they say, We believe, and indeed they come in with unbelief, and indeed they go forth with it. And Allah knows best what they concealed. And you will see many of them striving with one another to hasten in sin and exceeding the limits and their eating of what is unlawfully acquired. Certainly evil is that which they do. Why do not the learned men and the doctors of law prohibit them from their speaking of what is sinful and their eating of what is unlawfully acquired? Certainly evil is that which they work. And the Jews say, the hand of Allah is tied up. Their hands shall be shackled and they shall be cursed for what they say. Nay, both his hands are spread out. He expands as he pleases. And what has been revealed to you from your Lord will certainly make many of them 
increase in inordinacy and unbelief. And we have put enmity and hatred among them till the day of resurrection. Whenever they kindle a fire for war, Allah puts it out, and they strive to make mischief in the land, and Allah does not love the mischief makers. And if the followers of the book had believed and guarded against evil, we would certainly have covered their evil deeds, and we would certainly have made them enter gardens of bliss. And if they had kept up the Torah and the Injil and that which was revealed to them from their Lord, they would certainly have eaten from above them and from beneath their feet. There is a party of them keeping to the moderate course. And as for most of them, evil is that which they do. O Messenger, deliver what has been revealed to you from your Lord, and if you do it not, then you have not delivered his message, and Allah will protect you from the people. Surely Allah will not guide the unbelieving people. Say, O followers of the book, you follow no good till you keep up the Torah and the Injil and that which is revealed to you from your Lord, and surely that which has been revealed to you from your Lord shall make many of them increase in inordinacy and unbelief. Grieve not therefore for the unbelieving people. Surely those who believe and those who are Jews and the Sabians and the Christians, whoever believes in Allah and the last day and does good, they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve. Certainly we made a covenant with the children of Israel and we sent to them messengers Whenever there came to them a messenger with what that their souls did not desire, some of them did they call liars, and some they slew. And they thought that there would be no affliction, so they became blind and deaf. Then Allah turned to them mercifully, but many of them became blind and deaf, and Allah is well seeing what they do. Certainly they disbelieve who say, Surely Allah, he is the Messiah, son of Maryam. And the Messiah said, O children of Israel, serve Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Surely whoever associates others with Allah, then Allah has forbidden to him the garden and his abode is the fire, and there shall be no helpers for the unjust. Certainly they disbelieve who say, Surely Allah is the third person of the three, and there is no God but the one Allah. And if they desist not from what they say, a painful chastisement shall befall those among them who disbelieve. Will they not then turn to Allah and ask his forgiveness? And Allah is forgiving, merciful. The Messiah, son of Maryam, is but a messenger. Messengers before him have indeed passed away, and his mother was a truthful woman. They both used to eat food. See how we make the communications clear to them? Then behold how they are turned away. Say, do you serve besides Allah that which does not control for you any harm or any profit? And Allah, he is the hearing, the knowing. Say, O followers of the book, be not unduly immoderate in your religion. And do not follow the low desires of people who went astray before and led many astray and went astray from the right path. 
those who disbelieved from among the children of Israel were cursed by the tongue of the wood and Isa, son of Maryam. This was because they disobeyed and used to exceed the limit. They used not to forbid each other the hateful things which they did. Certainly evil was that which they did. You will see many of them befriending those who disbelieve. Certainly evil is that which their souls have sent before for them, that Allah became displeased with them, and in chastisement shall they abide. And had they believed in Allah and the Prophet and what was revealed to him, they would not have taken them for friends, but most of them are transgressors. Certainly you will find the most violent of people in enmity for those who believe to be the Jews and those who are polytheists, and you will certainly find the nearest in friendship to those who believe to be those who say we are Christians. This is because there are priests and monks among them and because they do not behave proudly. And when they hear what has been revealed to the messenger, you will see their eyes overflowing with tears on account of the truth that they recognize. They say, our Lord, we believe, so write us down with the witnesses of truth. And what reason have we that we should not believe in Allah and in the truth that has come to us while we earnestly desire that our Lord should cause us to enter with the good people? Therefore Allah rewarded them on account of what they said with gardens in which rivers flow to abide in them. And this is the reward of those who do good to others. And as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications, these are the companions of the flame. O you who believe, do not forbid yourselves the good things which Allah has made lawful for you, and do not exceed the limits. Surely Allah does not love those who exceed the limits. And eat of the lawful and good things that Allah has given you, and be careful of your duty to Allah, in whom you believe. Allah does not call you to account for what is vain in your oath, but he calls you to account for the making of deliberate oath. So its expiation is the feeding of ten poor men out of the middling food you feed your families with, or their clothing, or the freeing of a neck. But whosoever cannot find means then fasting for three days. This is the expiation of your oath when you swear. And guard your oath, thus does Allah make clear to you his communications, that you may be faithful. O you who believe, intoxicants and games of chance, and sacrificing to stones set up and dividing by arrows, are only an uncleanness, the shaitan's work, Shun it, therefore, that you may be successful. The shaitan only desires to cause enmity and hatred to spring in your midst by means of intoxicants and games of chance, and to keep you off from the remembrance of Allah and from prayer. Will you then desist and obey Allah and obey the messenger? and be cautious. But if you turn back, then know that only a clear deliverance of the message is incumbent on our messenger. On those who believe and do good, there is no blame for what they eat. 
when they are careful of their duty and believe and do good deeds, then they are careful of their duty and believe then they are careful of their duty and do good to others. And Allah loves those who do good to others. O you who believe, Allah will certainly try you in respect of some game which your hands and your lances can reach, that Allah might know who fears him in secret. But whoever exceeds the limit after this, he shall have a painful punishment. O you who believe, do not kill game while you are on pilgrimage. And whoever among you shall kill it intentionally, the compensation of it is the like of what he killed from the cattle, as two just persons among you shall judge, as an offering to be brought to the Kaaba or the expiation of it, is the feeding of the poor or the equivalent of it in fasting, that he may taste the unwholesome result of his deed. Allah has pardoned what is gone by, and whoever returns to it, Allah will inflict retribution on him, and Allah is mighty, Lord of retribution. Lawful to you is the game of the sea and its food, a provision for you and for the travelers, and the game of the land is forbidden to you so long as you are on pilgrimage, and be careful of your duty to Allah, to whom you shall be gathered. Allah has made the Kaaba the sacred house, a maintenance for the people, and the sacred month, and the offerings, and the sacrificial animals with garlands. This is that you may know that Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, and that Allah is the knower of all things. Know that Allah is severe in requiting evil, and that Allah is forgiving, merciful. Nothing is incumbent on the messenger but to deliver the message. And Allah knows what you do openly and what you hide. Say the bad and the good are not equal, though the abundance of the bad may please you. So be careful of your duty to Allah. O men of understanding, that you may be successful. O oh, you who believe, do not put questions about things which, if declared to you, may trouble you. And if you question about them when the Quran is being revealed, they shall be declared to you. Allah pardons this, and Allah is forgiving, forbearing. A people before you indeed asked such questions and then became disbelievers on account of them. Allah has not ordained the making of a bahira or a sa'iba or a wasila or a hami, but those who disbelieve fabricate a lie against Allah and most of them do not understand. And when it is said to them, come to what Allah has revealed and to the messenger, they say, that on which we found our fathers is sufficient for us. What, even though their fathers knew nothing and did not follow the right way? O oh, you who believe, take care of your souls. He who errs cannot hurt you when you are on the right way. To Allah is your return of all of you, so he will inform you of what you did. O you who believe, call to witness between you when death draws nigh to one of you. At the time of making the will, two just persons from among you or two others from among others than you 
If you are traveling in the land and the calamity of death befalls you, the two witnesses you should detain after the prayer, then if you doubt them, they shall both swear by Allah, saying, We will not take for it a price. Though there be a relative and we will not hide the testimony of Allah, for then certainly we should be among the sinners. Then if it becomes known that they both have been guilty of a sin, two others shall stand up in their place from among those who have a claim against them. The two nearest in kin, so they too should swear by Allah, certainly our testimony is truer than the testimony of those two, and we have not exceeded the limit, for then most surely we should be of the unjust. This is more proper in order that they should give testimony truly or fear that other oath be given after their oath. And be careful of your duty to Allah, and hear, and Allah does not guide the transgressing people. On the day when Allah will assemble the messengers, then say, What answer were you given? They shall say, We have no knowledge. Surely thou art the great knower of the unseen things. When Allah will say, O Isa, son of Maryam, remember my favor on you and on your mother. When I strengthened you, I with the Holy Spirit. You spoke to the people in the cradle, and I, when of old age, and when I taught you the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Engil, and when you determined out of clay, a thing like the form of a bird by my permission. Then you breathed into it, and it became a bird by my permission. And you healed the blind and the leprous by my permission. And when you brought forth the dead by my permission, and when I withheld the children of Israel from you when you came to them, with clear arguments, but those who disbelieved among them said, This is nothing but clear enchantment. And when I revealed to the disciples, saying, Believe in me and my messenger, they said, We believe and bear witness that we submit ourselves. When the disciples said, O Isa, son of Maryam, Will your Lord consent to send down to us food from heaven? He said, Be careful of your duty to Allah if you are believers. They said, We desire that we should eat of it and that our hearts should be at rest and that we may know that you have indeed spoken the truth to us and that we may be of the witnesses to it. Isa, the son of Maryam, said, O Allah, our Lord, send down to us food from heaven, which should be to us an ever-recurring happiness, to the first of us and to the last of us, and a sign from thee, and grant us means of subsistence, and thou art the best of the providers. Allah said, Surely I will send it down to you, but whoever shall disbelieve afterwards from among you, surely I will chastise him with a chastisement with which I will not chastise anyone among the nations. And when Allah will say, O Isa, son of Maryam, did you say to men, Take me and my mother for two gods besides Allah? He will say, Glory be to thee. It did not befit me that I should say what I had no right to say. If I had said it, thou wouldst indeed have known it. 
Thou knowest what is in my mind, and I do not know what is in thy mind. Surely thou art the great knower of the unseen things. I did not say to them aught, save what thou didst enjoin me with, that serve Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness of them so long as I was among them. But when thou didst cause me to die, thou wert the watcher over them. And thou art witness of all things. If thou shouldest chastise them, then surely they are thy servants. And if thou shouldest forgive them, then surely thou art the mighty, the wise. Allah will say, This is the day when their truth shall benefit the truthful ones. They shall have gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them forever. Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with Allah. This is the mighty achievement. Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is in them, and he has power over all things. End of Surah 5 Surah 6 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 6, Cattle, Al-An'am, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light, yet those who disbelieve set up equals with their Lord. He it is who created you from clay, then he decreed a term, and there is a term named with him, still you doubt. And he is Allah in the heavens and in the earth. He knows your secret thoughts and your open words, and he knows what you earn. And there does not come to them any communication of the communications of their Lord, but they turn aside from it. So they have indeed rejected the truth when it came to them. Therefore the truth of what they mocked at will shine upon them. Do they not consider how many a generation we have destroyed before them, whom we had established in the earth, as we have not established you, and we sent the clouds pouring rain on them in abundance, and we made the rivers to flow beneath them. Then we destroyed them on account of their faults, and raised up after them another generation. And if we had sent to you a writing on a paper, then they had touched it with their hands, certainly those who disbelieve would have said this is nothing but clear enchantment. And they say, why has not an angel been sent down to him? And had we sent down an angel, the matter would have certainly been decided and then they would not have been respited. And if we had made him angel, we would certainly have made him a man and we would certainly have made confused to them what they make confused. And certainly messengers before you were mocked at, but that which they mocked at encompassed the scuffers among them. Say travel in the land, then see what was the end of the rejecters. Say to whom belongs what is in the heavens and the earth. Say to Allah, he has ordained mercy on himself. Most certainly he will gather you on the resurrection day. 
there is no doubt about it as for those who have lost their souls they will not believe and to him belongs whatever dwells in the night and the day and he is the hearing the knowing say shall i take a guardian besides allah the originator of the heavens and the earth and he feeds others and is not himself fed say i am commanded to be the first who submits himself and you should not be of the polytheists say surely i fear if i disobey my lord the chastisement of a grievous day he from whom it is averted on that day allah indeed has shown mercy to him and this is a manifest achievement and if allah touch you with affliction there is none to take it off but he and if he visits you with good then he has power over all things and he is the supreme above his servants and he is the wise the aware say what thing is the weightiest in testimony say allah is witness between you and me and this quran has been revealed to me that with it i may warn you and whomsoever it reaches do you really bear witness that there are other gods with allah say i do not bear witness say he is only one allah and surely i am clear of that which you set up with him those whom we have given the book recognize him as they recognize their sons as for those who have lost their souls they will not believe and who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against allah or he who gives the lie to his communications surely the unjust will not be successful and on the day when we shall gather them all together then shall we say to those who associated others with allah where are your associates whom you asserted then their excuse would be nothing but that they would say by allah our lord we were not polytheists see how they lie against their own souls and that which they forged has passed away from them and of them is he who hearkens to you and we have cast veils over their hearts lest they understand it and a heaviness into their ears and even if they see every sign they will not believe in it so much so that when they come to you they only dispute with you those who disbelieve say this is not but the stories of the ancients and they prohibit others from it and go far away from it and they only bring destruction upon their own souls while they do not perceive and could you see when they are made to stand before the fire then they shall say would that we were sent back and we would not reject the communications of our lord and we would be of the believers nay what they concealed before shall become manifest to them and if they were sent back they would certainly go back to that which they are forbidden and most surely they are liars and they say there is nothing but our life of this world and we shall not be raised and could you see when they are made to stand before their lord he will say is not this the truth they will say yea by our lord he will say taste then the chastisement because you disbelieved they are losers indeed who reject the meeting of allah until when the hour comes upon them all of a sudden they shall say o oh, our grief for our neglecting it
and they shall bear their burdens on their backs. Now surely evil is that which they bear. And this world's life is not but a play and an idle sport, and certainly the abode of the hereafter is better for those who guard against evil. Do you not then understand? We know indeed that what they say certainly grieves you, but surely they do not call you a liar. But the unjust deny the communications of Allah, and certainly messengers before you were rejected. But they were patient on being rejected and persecuted until our help came to them. And there is none to change the words of Allah. And certainly there has come to you some information about the messengers. And if their turning away is hard on you, then if you can seek an opening to go down into the earth or a ladder to ascend up to heaven so that you should bring them a sign and if Allah had pleased he would certainly have gathered them all on guidance therefore be not of the ignorant only those accept who listen and as to the dead Allah will raise them then to him they shall be returned and they say why has not a sign been sent down to him from his Lord say Surely Allah is able to send down a sign, but most of them do not know. And there is no animal that walks upon the earth, nor a bird that flies with its two wings, but they are genera like yourselves. We have not neglected anything in the book, then to their Lord shall they be gathered." And they who reject our communications are deaf and dumb, in utter darkness. Whom Allah pleases, he causes to err, and whom he pleases, he puts on the right way. Say, tell me if the chastisement of Allah should overtake you, or the hour should come upon you. Will you call on others besides Allah? If you are truthful, nay, him you call upon, so he clears away that for which you pray, if he pleases and you forget what you set up with him. And certainly we sent messengers to nations before you, then we seized them with distress and affliction in order that they might humble themselves. Yet why did they not? when our punishment came to them, humbled themselves, but their hearts hardened, and the shaitan made what they did fair seeming to them. But when they neglected that with which they had been admonished, we opened for them the doors of all things, until when they rejoiced in what they were given, we seized them suddenly. Then, lo, they were in utter despair. So the roots of the people who were unjust were cut off, and all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the words. Say, have you considered that if Allah takes away your hearing and your sight and sets a seal on your hearts, who is the God besides Allah that can bring it to you? See how we repeat the communications, yet they turn away. Say, have you considered if the chastisement of Allah should overtake you suddenly or openly? Will any be destroyed but the unjust people? And we send not messengers, but as announcers of good news and givers of warning. Then whoever believes and acts aright, they shall have no fear, nor shall they grieve. And as for those who reject our communications, chastisement shall afflict them because they transgressed. Say, I do not say to you, I have with me the treasures of Allah, 
nor do I know the unseen, nor do I say to you that I am an angel. I do not follow out, save that which is revealed to me. Say, are the blind and the seeing one alike? Do you not then reflect and warn with it those who fear that they shall be gathered to their Lord? There is no guardian for them, nor any intercessor besides him, that they may guard against evil. And do not drive away those who call upon their Lord in the morning and the evening. They desire only his favor. Neither are you answerable for any reckoning of theirs nor are they answerable for any reckoning of yours so that you should drive them away and thus be of the unjust and thus do we try some of them by others so that they say are these they upon whom allah has conferred benefit from among us does not allah best know the grateful and when those who believe in our communications come to you, say, Peace be on you, your Lord has ordained mercy on himself, so that if any one of you does evil in ignorance, then turns after that and acts aright, then he is forgiving, merciful. And thus do we make distinct the, the communications, and so that the way of the guilty may become clear. Say, I am forbidden to serve those whom you call upon besides Allah. Say, I do not follow your low desires, for then indeed I should have gone astray, and I should not be of those who go aright. Say, surely I have manifest proof from my Lord, and you call it a lie. I have not with me that which you would hasten. The judgment is only Allah's. He relates the truth, and he is the best of deciders. Say, if that which you desire to hasten were with me, the matter would have certainly been decided between you and me and Allah best knows the unjust, and with him are the keys of the unseen treasures. None knows them but he, and he knows what is in the land and the sea, and there falls not a leaf but he knows it, nor a grain in the darkness of the earth, nor anything green nor dry, but it is all in a clear book. And he it is who takes your souls at night in sleep, and he knows what you acquire in the day. Then he raises you up therein, that an appointed term may be fulfilled. Then to him is your return. Then he will inform you of what you were doing. And he is the supreme above his servants and he sends keepers over you until when death comes to one of you our messengers cause him to die and they are not remiss then are they sent back to allah their master the true one now surely his is the judgment and he is swiftest in taking account Say, who is it that delivers you from the dangers of the land and the sea when you call upon him, openly humiliating yourselves? And in secret, if he delivers us from this, we should certainly be of the grateful ones. Say, Allah delivers you from them and from every distress. But again you set up others with him. Say he has the power that he should send on you a chastisement from above you or from beneath your feet, or that he should throw you into confusion, making you of different parties, and make some of you taste the fighting of others. 
see how we repeat the communications that they may understand. And your people call it a lie, and it is the very truth. Say, I am not placed in charge of you, for every prophecy is a term, and you will come to know it. And when you see those who enter into false discourses about our communications, withdraw from them until they enter into some other discourse. And if the shaitan causes you to forget, then do not sit after recollection with the unjust people. And note of the reckoning of their deeds shall be against those who guard against evil, but theirs is only to remind. Happily they may guard, and leave those who have taken their religion for a play and an idle sport, and whom this world's life has deceived, and remind them thereby, lest a soul should be given up to destruction for what it has earned. It shall not have besides Allah any guardian, nor an intercessor. And if it should seek to give every compensation, it shall not be accepted from it. These are they who shall be given up to destruction for what they earned. They shall have a drink of boiling water and a painful chastisement because they disbelieved. Say, shall we call on that besides Allah, which does not benefit us nor harm us, and shall we be returned back on our heels after Allah has guided us? Like him, whom the shaitans have made to fall down perplexed in the earth. He has companions who call him to the right way, saying, Come to us, say, Surely the guidance of Allah, that is the true guidance, and we are commanded that we should submit to the Lord of the worlds and that you should keep a prayer and be careful of your duty to him, and he it is to whom you shall be gathered, and he it is who has created the heavens and the earth with truth. And on the day he says, Be it is, his word is the truth. And his is the kingdom on the day when the trumpet shall be blown, the knower of the unseen and the seen, and he is the wise, the aware. And when Ibrahim said to his sire, Azar, do you take idols for gods? Surely I see you and your people in manifest error. And thus did we show Ibrahim the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and that he might be of those who are sure. So when the night overshadowed him, he saw a star, said he, Is this my Lord? So when it set, he said, I do not love the setting ones. Then when he saw the moon rising, he said, Is this my Lord? So when it set, he said, If my Lord had not guided me, I should certainly be of the erring people. Then when he saw the sun rising, he said, Is this my Lord? Is this the greatest? So when it set, he said, O oh my people, surely I am clear of what you set up with Allah. Surely I have turned myself, being upright, holy to him who originated the heavens and the earth, and I am not of the polytheists. And his people disputed with him. He said, Do you dispute with me respecting Allah? And he has guided me indeed, and I do not fear in any way those that you set up with him. Unless my Lord pleases, 
my lord comprehends all things in his knowledge will you not then mind and how should i fear what you have set up with him while you do not fear that you have set up with allah that for which he has not sent down to you any authority which then of the two parties is surer of security if you know those who believe and do not mix up their faith with iniquity those are they who shall have the security and they are those who go aright and this was our argument which we gave to ibrahim against his people we exult in dignity whom we please surely your lord is wise knowing and we give to him ishaq and jacob each did we guide and nuh did we guide before and of his descendants dawood and sulaiman and ayyub and yusuf and musa and harun and thus do we reward those who do good to others and zachariah and yahya and isa and elias every one was of the good and ismail and elyasa and yunus and lut and every one we made to excel in the worlds and from among their fathers and their descendants and their brethren and we chose them and guided them into the right way this is allah's guidance he guides thereby whom he pleases of his servants and if they had set up others with him certainly what they did would have become ineffectual for them these are they to whom we gave the book and the wisdom and the prophecy therefore if these disbelieve in it we have already entrusted with it a people who are not disbelievers in it these are they whom allah guided therefore follow their guidance say i do not ask you for any reward for it it is nothing but a reminder to the nations and they do not assign to allah the attributes due to him when they say allah has not revealed anything to a mortal say who revealed the book which musa brought a light and a guidance to men which you make into scattered writings which you show while you conceal much and you were taught what you did not know neither you nor your fathers say allah then leave them sporting in their vain discourses and this is a book we have revealed blessed verifying that which is before it and that you may warn the metropolis and those around her and those who believe in the hereafter believe in it and they attend to their prayers constantly and who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against allah or says it has been revealed to me while nothing has been revealed to him and he who says i can reveal the like of what allah has revealed and if you had seen when the unjust shall be in the agonies of death and the angels shall spread forth their hands give up your souls today shall you be recompensed with an ignominious chastisement because you spoke against allah other than the truth and because you showed pride against his communications and certainly you have come to us alone as we created you at first and you have left behind your backs the things which we gave you and we do not see with you your intercessors about whom you asserted that they were allah's associates in respect to you certainly the ties between you are now cut off 
and what you asserted is gone from you. Surely Allah causes the grain and the stone to germinate. He brings forth the living from the dead, and he is the bringer forth of the dead from the living. That is Allah. How are you then turned away? He causes the dawn to break, and he has made the night for rest, and the sun and the moon for reckoning. This is an arrangement of the mighty, the knowing. And he it is who has made the stars for you that you might follow the right way. Thereby in the darkness of the land and the sea, truly we have made plain the communications for a people who know. And he it is who has brought you into being from a single soul. Then there is for you a resting place and a depository. Indeed, we have made plain the communications for a people who understand. And he it is who sends down water from the cloud. Then we bring forth with it buds of all plants. Then we bring forth from it green foliage from which we produce grain piled up in the ear and of the palm tree of the sheath of it come forth clusters of dates within reach and gardens of grapes and olives and pomegranates alike and unlike. Behold the fruit of it when it yields the fruit and the ripening of it. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe, and they make the jinn associates with Allah while he created them, and they falsely attribute to him sons and daughters without knowledge. Glory be to him, and highly exalted is he above what they ascribe to him. Wonderful originator of the heavens and the earth, how could he have a son when he has no consort? And he himself created everything, and he is the knower of all things. That is Allah, your Lord. There is no God but he, the creator of all things. Therefore serve him, and he has charge of all things. Vision comprehends him not, and he comprehends all vision, and he is the knower of subtleties, the aware. Indeed, there have come to you clear proofs from your Lord. Whoever will therefore see, it is for his own soul, and whoever will be blind, it shall be against himself, and I am not a keeper over you. And thus do we repeat the communications, and that they may say, You have read, and that we may make it clear to a people who know. Follow what is revealed to you from your Lord. There is no God but He. And withdraw from the polytheists, and if Allah had pleased, they would not have set up others with Him. And we have not appointed you a keeper over them, and you are not placed in charge of them. And do not abuse those whom they call upon besides Allah, lest exceeding the limits. They should abuse Allah out of ignorance. Thus have we made fair seeming to every people their deeds. Then to their Lord shall be their return, so he will inform them of what they did. And they swear by Allah with the strongest of their oath that if a sign came to them, they would most certainly believe in it. Say, signs are only with Allah, and what should make you know that when it comes they will not believe? And we will turn their hearts and their sights, even as they did not believe in it the first time. And we will leave them in their inordinacy, blindly wandering on. 
and even if we had sent down to them the angels and the dead had spoken to them, and we had brought together all things before them, they would not believe unless Allah pleases, but most of them are ignorant. And thus did we make for every prophet an enemy, the shaitans from among men and jinn, some of them suggesting to others varnished falsehood to deceive them, and had your Lord pleased, they would not have done it. Therefore leave them and that which they forge, and that the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter may incline to it, and that they may be well pleased with it, and that they may earn what they are going to earn of evil. Shall I then seek a judge other than Allah? And he it is who has revealed to you the book which is made plain, and those whom we have given the book know that it is revealed by your Lord with truth. Therefore, you should not be of the disputers. And the word of your Lord has been accomplished truly and justly. There is none who can change his words, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if you obey most of those in the earth, they will lead you astray from Allah's way. They follow but conjectures, and they only lie. Surely your Lord, he best knows who goes astray from his way, and he best knows those who follow the right course. Therefore eat of that on which Allah's name has been mentioned, if you are believers in his communications. And what reason have you that you should not eat of that on which Allah's name has been mentioned, and he has already made plain to you what he has forbidden to you, accepting what you are compelled to, and most surely many would lead people astray by their low desires, out of ignorance. Surely your Lord, he best knows those who exceed the limits and abandon open and secret sin. Surely they who earn sin shall be recompensed with what they earned. And do not eat of that on which Allah's name has not been mentioned, and that is most surely a transgression. And most surely the shaitans suggest to their friends that they should contend with you, and if you obey them, you shall most surely be polytheists. Is he who was dead, then we raised him to life and made for him a light by which he walks among the people, like him whose likeness is that of one in utter darkness, whence he cannot come forth. Thus what they did was made fair, seeming to the unbelievers. And thus have we made in every town the great ones to be its guilty ones, that they may plan therein, and they do not plan but against their own souls, and they do not perceive. And when a communication comes to them, they say, we will not believe till we are given the like of what Allah's messengers are given. Allah best knows where he places his message, there shall befall those who are guilty humiliation from Allah and severe chastisement because of what they planned. Therefore, for whomsoever Allah intends that he would guide him aright, he expands his breast for Islam. And for whomsoever he intends that he should cause him to err, he makes his breast straight and narrow as though he were ascending upwards. Thus does Allah lay uncleanness on those who do not believe. 
and this is the path of your Lord, a right path. Indeed, we have made the communications clear for a people who mind. They shall have the abode of peace with their Lord, and he is their guardian because of what they did. And on the day when he shall gather them all together, O assembly of Jinn, you took away a great part of mankind, and their friends from among the men shall say, Our Lord, some of us profited by others, and we have reached our appointed term, which thou didst appoint for us. He shall say, The fire is your abode, to abide in it, except as Allah is pleased. Surely your Lord is wise knowing. And thus do we make some of the iniquitous to befriend others on account of what they earned. O assembly of jinn and men, did there not come to you messengers from among you, relating to you my communications and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They shall say, we bear witness against ourselves, and this world's life deceived them, and they shall bear witness against their own souls that they were unbelievers. This is because your Lord would not destroy towns unjustly while their people were negligent, and all have degrees according to what they do, and your Lord is not heedless of what they do, and your Lord is the self-sufficient one, the Lord of mercy, if he pleases. He may take you off and make whom he pleases successors after you, even as he raised you up from the seed of another people. Surely what you are threatened with must come to pass, and you cannot escape it. Say, O oh my people, act according to your ability. I too am acting, so you will soon come to know for whom of us will be the good end of the abode. Surely the unjust shall not be successful. And they set apart a portion for Allah out of what he has created of tilth and cattle, and say, this is for Allah. So they assert, and this for our associates. Then what is for their associates, it reaches not to Allah. And whatever is set apart for Allah, it reaches to their associates. Evil is that which they judge. And thus their associates have made fair seeming to most of the polytheists the killing of their children, that they may cause them to perish and obscure for them their religion. And if Allah had pleased, they would not have done it. Therefore leave them and that which they forge. And they say, these are cattle and tilth prohibited. None shall eat them except such as we please. So they assert, and cattle whose backs are forbidden, and cattle on which they would not mention Allah's name, forging a lie against him. He shall requite them for what they forged. And they say, what is in the wombs of these cattle is especially for our males and forbidden to our wives, and if it be stillborn, then they are all partners in it. He will reward them for their attributing falsehood to Allah. Surely he is wise, knowing. They are lost indeed who kill their children foolishly, without knowledge, and forbid what Allah has given to them, forging a lie against Allah. They have indeed gone astray, and they are not the followers of the right course. And he it is who produces gardens of vine, 
trellised and untrellised, and palms and seed produce of which the fruits are of various sorts, and olives and pomegranates like and unlike, eat of its fruit when it bears fruit, and pay the due of it on the day of its reaping, and do not act extravagantly, surely he does not love the extravagant. And of cattle he created beasts of burden, and those which are fit for slaughter only. Eat of what Allah has given you, and do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan. Surely he is your open enemy. Eat in pairs two of sheep and two of goats, say, Has he forbidden the two males or the two females? or that which the wombs of the two females contain. Inform me with knowledge if you are truthful. And two of camels and two of cows say, Has he forbidden the two males or the two females, or that which the wombs of the two females contain? Or were you witnesses when Allah enjoined you this? Who then is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah, that he should lead astray men without knowledge? Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. Say, I do not find in that which has been revealed to me anything forbidden for an eater to eat of except that it be what has died of itself or blood poured forth, or flesh of swine, for that surely is unclean, or that which is a transgression other than the name of Allah, having been invoked on it. But whoever is driven to necessity, not desiring nor exceeding the limit, then surely your Lord is forgiving, merciful. And to those who were Jews, we made unlawful every animal having claws, and of oxen and sheep, we made unlawful to them the fat of both, except such as was on their backs or the entrails or what was mixed with bones. This was a punishment we gave them on account of their rebellion, and we are surely truthful. But if they give you the lie, then say, Your Lord is the Lord of all encompassing mercy, and his punishment cannot be averted from the guilty people. Those who are polytheists will say, If Allah had pleased, we would not have associated oath with him, nor our fathers, nor would we have forbidden to ourselves anything. Even so did those before them reject until they tasted our punishment. Say, have you any knowledge with you so you should bring it forth to us? You only follow a conjecture and you only tell lies. Say, then Allah's is the conclusive argument. So if he please, he would certainly guide you all. Say, bring your witnesses who should bear witness that Allah has forbidden this. Then, if they bear witness, do not bear witness with them, and follow not the low desires of those who reject our communications and of those who do not believe in the hereafter, and they make others equal to their Lord. Say, Come, I will recite what your Lord has forbidden to you. Remember that you do not associate anything with him, and show kindness to your parents, and do not slay your children for fear of poverty. We provide for you and for them, and do not draw nigh to indecencies, those of them which are apparent and those which are concealed. And do not kill the soul which Allah has forbidden, 
except for the requirements of justice. This he has enjoined you with that you may understand, and do not approach the property of the orphan except in the best manner until he attains his maturity and give full measure and wait with justice. We do not impose on any soul a duty except to the extent of its ability. And when you speak, then be just, though it be against a relative, and fulfill Allah's covenant. This he has enjoined you, with that you may be mindful. And know that this is my path, the right one, therefore follow it, and follow not other ways, for they will lead you away from his way. This he has enjoined you, with that you may guard against evil. Again we gave the book to Musa to complete our blessings on him who would do good to others, and making plain all things and a guidance and a mercy, so that they should believe in the meeting of their Lord. And this is a book we have revealed, blessed, therefore follow it and guard against evil, that mercy may be shown to you, lest you say that the book was only revealed to two parties before us and we were truly unaware of what they read. Or lest you should say, if the book had been revealed to us, we would certainly have been better guided than they. So indeed there has come to you clear proof from your Lord and guidance and mercy. Who then is more unjust than he who rejects Allah's communications and turns away from them? We will reward those who turn away from our communications with an evil chastisement because they turned away. They do not wait aught but that the angels should come to them, or that your Lord should come, or that some of the signs of your Lord should come. On the day when some of the signs of your Lord shall come, its faith shall not profit a soul which did not believe before or earn good through its faith. Say, wait, we too are waiting. Surely they who divided their religion into parts and became sects, you have no concern with them. Their affair is only with Allah. Then he will inform them of what they did. Whoever brings a good deed, he shall have ten like it. And whoever brings an evil deed, he shall be recompensed only with the like of it. And they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Say, surely as for me, my Lord has guided me to the right path to a most right religion, the faith of Ibrahim, the upright one, and he was not of the polytheists. See, surely my prayer and my sacrifice and my life and my death are all for Allah, the Lord of the worlds. No associate has he, and this am I commanded, and I am the first of those who submit. Say, what? Shall I seek a Lord other than Allah? And he is the Lord of all things, and no soul earns evil but against itself, and no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return, so he will inform you of that in which you differed. And he it is who has made you successors in the land and raised some of you above others by various grades, that he might try you by what he has given you. Surely your Lord is quick to requite evil, and he is most surely the forgiving, the merciful. End of Surah 6 
Surah 7 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 7, The Heights, Al-Araf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Saad, a book revealed to you. So let there be no straightness in your breast on account of it, that you may warn thereby, and a reminder close to the believers. Follow what has been revealed to you from your Lord, and do not follow guardians besides him. How little do you mind, and how many a town that we destroyed, so our punishment came to it by night, or while they slept at midday. Yet their cry when our punishment came to them was nothing but that they said, Surely we were unjust. Most certainly then we will question those to whom the messengers were sent, and most certainly we will also question the messengers. Then most certainly we will relate to them with knowledge, and we were not absent, and the measuring out on that day will be just. Then as for him whose measure of good deeds is heavy, those are they who shall be successful, and as for him whose measure of good deeds is light, those are they who have made their souls suffer loss because they disbelieved in our communications, and certainly we have established you in the earth and made in it means of livelihood for you. Little it is that you give thanks. And certainly we created you. Then we fashioned you. Then we said to the angels, prostrate to Adam. So they did prostrate, except Iblis. He was not of those who prostrated. He said, what hindered you so? that you did not prostrate when I commanded you. He said, I am better than he. Thou hast created me of fire, while him thou didst create of dust. He said, Then get forth from this state, for it does not befit you to behave proudly therein. Go forth therefore, surely you are of the abject ones. He said, Respite me until the day when they are raised up. He said, Surely you are of the respited ones. He said, As thou hast caused me to remain disappointed, I will certainly lie in wait for them in thy straight path. Then I will certainly come to them from before them and from behind them and from the right hand side and from their left hand side and thou shalt not find most of them thankful he said get out of this state despised driven away whoever of them will follow you i will certainly fill hell with you all and we said o adam dwell you and your wife in the garden so eat from where you desire but do not go near this tree, for then you will be of the unjust. But the shaitan made an evil suggestion to them, that he might make manifest to them what had been hidden from them of their evil inclinations. And he said, Your Lord has not forbidden you this tree, except that you may not both become two angels, or that you may not become of the immortals. And he swore to them both, Most surely I am a sincere adviser to you. Then he caused them to fall by deceit. So when they tasted of the tree, their evil inclinations became manifest to them, and they both began to cover themselves with the leaves of the garden. And their Lord called out to them, did I not forbid you both from that tree and say to you that the shaitan is your open enemy? They said, Our Lord, we have been unjust to ourselves 
and if thou forgive us not and have not mercy on us we shall certainly be of the losers he said get forth some of you the enemies of others and there is for you in the earth an abode and a provision for a time he also said therein shall you live and therein shall you die and from it shall you be raised o children of adam we have indeed sent down to you clothing to cover your shame and clothing for beauty and clothing that guards against evil that is the best this is of the communications of allah that they may be mindful o children of adam let not the shaitan cause you to fall into affliction as he expelled your parents from the garden pulling off from them both their clothing that he might show them their evil inclinations he surely sees you he as well as his host from whence you cannot see them surely we have made the shaitans to be the guardians of those who do not believe and when they commit an indecency they say we found our fathers doing this and allah has enjoined it on us say surely allah does not enjoin indecency do you say against allah what you do not know say my lord has enjoined justice and set upright your faces at every time of prayer and call on him being sincere to him in obedience as he brought you forth in the beginning so shall you also return apart has he guided aright and as for another part error is justly their due surely they took the shaitans for guardians beside allah and they think that they are followers of the right way o children of adam attend to your embellishments at every time of prayer and eat and drink and be not extravagant surely he does not love the extravagant say who has prohibited the embellishment of allah which he has brought forth for his servants and the good provisions say these are for the believers in the life of this world purely theirs on the resurrection day thus do we make the communications clear for a people who know say my lord has only prohibited indecencies those of them that are apparent as well as those that are concealed and sin and rebellion without justice and that you associate with allah that for which he has not sent down any authority and that you say against allah what you do not know and for every nation there is a doom so when their doom is come they shall not remain behind the least while nor shall they go before o children of adam if there come to you messengers from among you relating to you my communications then whoever shall guard against evil and act aright they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve and as for those who reject our communications and turn away from them haughtily these are the inmates of the fire they shall abide in it who is then more unjust than he who forges a lie against allah or rejects his communications as for those their portion of the book shall reach them until when our messengers come to them causing them to die they shall say where is that which you used to call upon besides allah they would say they are gone away from us and they shall bear witness against themselves that they were unbelievers he will say enter into fire among the nations that have passed away before you from among jinn and men whenever a nation shall enter it shall curse its sister until when they have all come up with one another into it 
the last of them shall say with regard to the foremost of them our lord these led us astray therefore give them a double chastisement of the fire he will say every one shall have double but you do not know and the foremost of them will say to the last of them so you have no preference over us therefore taste the chastisement for what you earned surely as for those who reject our communications and turn away from them haughtily the doors of heaven shall not be opened for them nor shall they enter the garden until the camel pass through the eye of the needle and thus do we reward the guilty they shall have a bed of hell fire and from above them coverings of it and thus do we reward the unjust and as for those who believe and do good we do not impose on any soul a duty except to the extent of its ability they are the dwellers of the garden in it they shall abide and we will remove whatever of ill feeling is in their breasts the rivers shall flow beneath them and they shall say all praise is due to allah who guided us to this and we would not have found the way had it not been that allah had guided us certainly the messengers of our lord brought the truth and it shall be cried out to them that this is the garden of which you are made heirs for what you did and the dwellers of the garden will call out to the inmates of the fire surely we have found what our lord promised us to be true have you too found what your lord promised to be true they will say yes then a crier will cry out among them that the curse of allah is on the unjust who hinder people from allah's way and seek to make it crooked and they are disbelievers in the hereafter and between the two there shall be a veil and on the most elevated places there shall be men who know all by their marks and they shall call out to the dwellers of the garden peace be on you they shall not have yet entered it though they hope and when their eyes shall be turned towards the inmates of the fire they shall say our lord place us not with the unjust people and the dwellers of the most elevated places shall call out to men whom they will recognize by their marks saying of no avail were to you your amassings and your behaving haughtily are these they about whom you swore that allah will not bestow mercy on them enter the garden you shall have no fear nor shall you grieve and the inmates of the fire shall call out to the dwellers of the garden saying pour on us some water or of that which allah has given you they shall say surely allah has prohibited them both to the unbelievers who take their religion for an idle sport and a play and this life's world deceives them so today we forsake them as they neglected the meeting of this day of theirs and as they denied our communications and certainly we have brought them a book which we have made clear with knowledge a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe do they wait for aught but its final sequel on the day when its final sequel comes about those who neglected it before will say indeed the messengers of our lord brought the truth are there for us then any intercessors so that they should intercede on our behalf or could we be sent back so that we should do deeds other than those which we did indeed they have lost their souls and that which they forged has gone away from them surely your lord is allah who created the heavens and the earth in six periods of time and he is firm in power he throws the veil of night over the day 
which it pursues incessantly and he created the sun and the moon and the stars made subservient by his command surely his is the creation and the command blessed is allah the lord of the worlds call on your lord humbly and secretly surely he does not love those who exceed the limits and do not make mischief in the earth after its reformation and call on him fearing and hoping surely the mercy of allah is nigh to those who do good to others and he it is who sends forth the winds bearing good news before his mercy until when they bring up a laden cloud we drive it to a dead land then we send down water on it then bring forth with it of fruits of all kinds thus shall we bring forth the dead that you may be mindful and as for the good land its vegetation springs forth abundantly by the permission of its lord and as for that which is inferior its herbage comes forth but scantily thus do we repeat the communications for a people who give thanks certainly we sent noah to his people so he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than him surely i fear for you the chastisement of a grievous day the chiefs of his people said most surely we see you in clear error he said o my people there is no error in me but i am a messenger from the lord of the worlds i deliver to you the messages of my lord and i offer you good advice and i know from allah what you do not know what do you wonder that a reminder has come to you from your lord through a man from among you that he might warn you and that you might guard against evil and so that mercy may be shown to you but they called him a liar so we delivered him and those with him in the ark and we drowned those who rejected our communications surely they were a blind people and to add we sent their brother hood he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than him will you not then guard against evil the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said most surely we see you in folly and most surely we think you to be of the liars he said o my people there is no folly in me but i am a messenger of the lord of the worlds i deliver to you the messages of my lord and i am a faithful adviser to you what do you wonder that a reminder has come to you from your lord through a man from among you that he might warn you and remember when he made you successors after nuh's people and increased you in excellence in respect of make therefore remember the benefits of allah that you may be successful they said have you come to us that we may serve allah alone and give up what our fathers used to serve then bring to us what you threatened us with if you are of the truthful ones he said indeed uncleanness and wrath from your lord have lighted upon you what do you dispute with me about names which you and your fathers have given allah has not sent any authority for them wait then i too with you will be of those who wait so we delivered him and those with him by mercy from us and we cut off the last of those who rejected our communications and were not believers and to samud we sent their brother salih he said o my people serve allah you have no god other than him clear proof indeed has come to you from your lord this is as allah's she camel for you a sign therefore leave her alone to pasture on allah's earth and do not touch her with any harm otherwise painful chastisement will overtake you 
and remember when he made you successors after Ad and settled you in the land, you make mansions on its plains and hew out houses in the mountains. Remember therefore Allah's benefits and do not act corruptly in the land, making mischief. The chief of those who behaved proudly among his people said to those who were considered weak, to those who believed from among them, Do you know that Saleh is sent by his Lord? They said, Surely we are believers in what he has been sent with. Those who were haughty said, Surely we are deniers of what you believe in. So they slew the she camel and revolted against their Lord's commandment, and they said, O Saleh, bring us what you threatened us with, if you are one of the messengers. Then the earthquake overtook them, so they became motionless bodies in their abode. Then he turned away from them and said, O my people, I did certainly deliver to you the message of my Lord, and I gave you good advice, but you do not love those who give good advice. And we sent Lut when he said to his people, What? Do you commit an indecency which anyone in the world has not done before you? Most surely you come to males in lust besides females. Nay, you are an extravagant people. And the answer of his people was no other than that they said, Turn them out of your town. Surely they are a people who seek to purify themselves. So we delivered him and his followers, except his wife. She was of those who remained behind. And we reigned upon them a reign. Consider then what was the end of the guilty. And to Madian we sent their brother Shu'aib. He said, O my people, serve Allah. You have no God other than him. Clear proof indeed has come to you from your Lord. Therefore give full measure and wait and do not diminish to men their things. And do not make mischief in the land after its reform. This is better for you if you are believers. And do not lie in wait in every path, threatening and turning away from Allah's way. Him who believes in him and seeking to make it crooked, and remember when you were few, then he multiplied you, and consider what was the end of the mischief makers. And if there is a party of you who believe in that with which I am sent, and another party who do not believe, then wait patiently until Allah judges between us, and he is the best of the judges. The chiefs, those who were proud from among his people, said, We will most certainly turn you out, O Shu'aib, and also those who believe with you from our town, or you shall come back to our faith. He said, What? Though we dislike it? Indeed, we shall have forged a lie against Allah if we go back to your religion after Allah has delivered us from it. And it befits us not that we should go back to it except if Allah our Lord please. Our Lord comprehends all things in his knowledge. In Allah do we trust. Our Lord, decide between us and our people with truth and thou art the best of deciders. And the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said, If you follow Shu'aib, you shall then most surely be losers. Then the earthquake overtook them, so they became motionless bodies in their abode. Those who called Shu'aib a liar were as though they had never dwelt therein. Those who called Shu'aib a liar they were the losers. So he turned away from them and said, O my people, certainly I delivered to you the messages of my Lord, and I gave you good advice. How shall I then be sorry for an unbelieving people? And we did not send a prophet in a town, but we overtook its people 
with distress and affliction in order that they might humble themselves then we gave them good in the place of evil until they became many and said distress and happiness did indeed befall our fathers then we took them by surprise while they did not perceive and if the people of the towns had believed and guarded against evil we would certainly have opened up for them blessings from the heaven and the earth but they rejected so we overtook them for what they had earned what do the people of the towns then feel secure from our punishment coming to them by night while they sleep what do the people of the towns feel secure from our punishment coming to them in the morning while they play what do they then feel secure from allah's plan but none feel secure from allah's plan except the people who shall perish is it not clear to those who inherit the earth after its former residence that if we please we would afflict them on account of their faults and set a seal on their hearts so they would not hear these towns we relate to you some of their stories and certainly their messengers came to them with clear arguments but they would not believe in what they rejected at first thus does allah set a seal over the hearts of the unbelievers and we did not find in most of them any faithfulness to covenant and we found most of them to be certainly transgressors then we raised after them musa with our communications to pharaoh and his chiefs but they disbelieved in them consider then what was the end of the mischief makers and musa said o pharaoh surely i am a messenger from the lord of the worlds i am worthy of not saying anything about allah except the truth i have come to you indeed with clear proof from your lord therefore send with me the children of israel he said if you have come with a sign then bring it if you are of the truthful ones so he threw his rod then lo it was a clear serpent and he drew forth his hand and lo it was white to the beholders the chiefs of pharaoh's people said most surely this is an enchanter possessed of knowledge he intends to turn you out of your land what counsel do you then give they said put him off and his brother and send collectors into the cities that they may bring to you every enchanter possessed of knowledge and the enchanters came to pharaoh and said we must surely have a reward if we are the prevailing ones he said yes and you shall certainly be of those who are near to me they said o musa will you cast or shall we be the first to cast he said cast so when they cast they deceived the people's eyes and frightened them and they produced a mighty enchantment and we revealed to musa saying cast your rod then lo it devoured the lies they told so the truth was established and what they did became null thus they were vanquished there and they went back abased and the enchanters were thrown down prostrating themselves they said we believe in the lord of the worlds the lord of musa and harun pharaoh said do you believe in him before i have given you permission surely this is a plot which you have secretly devised in this city that you may turn out of it its people but you shall know i will certainly cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides then will i crucify you all together they said surely to our lord shall we go back and you do not take revenge on us 
except because we have believed in the communications of our Lord when they came to us. Our Lord pour out upon us patience and cause us to die in submission. And the chiefs of Pharaoh's people said, Do you leave Musa and his people to make mischief in the land and to forsake you and your gods? He said, we will slay their sons and spare their women, and surely we are masters over them. Musa said to his people, Ask help from Allah and be patient. Surely the land is Allah's. He causes such of his servants to inherit it as he pleases, and the end is for those who guard against evil. They said, We have been persecuted, before you came to us, and since you have come to us, he said, It may be that your Lord will destroy your enemy and make you rulers in the land. Then he will see how you act. And certainly we overtook Fern's people with droughts and diminution of fruits that they may be mindful. But when good befell them, they said, This is due to us. And when evil afflicted them, they attributed it to the ill luck of Musa and those with him. Surely their evil fortune is only from Allah, but most of them do not know. And they said, whatever sign you may bring to us to charm us with it, we will not believe in you. Therefore we sent upon them widespread death and the locust and the lice and the frog and the blood clear signs but they behaved haughtily and they were a guilty people and when the plague fell upon them they said o musa pray for us to your lord as he has promised with you if you remove the plague from us we will certainly believe in you and we will certainly send away with you the children of israel but when we remove the plague from them till a term which they should attain lo they broke the promise therefore we inflicted retribution on them and drowned them in the sea because they rejected our signs and were heedless of them and we made the people who were deemed weak to inherit the eastern lands and the western ones which we had blessed, and the good word of your Lord was fulfilled in the children of Israel because they bore up sufferings patiently, and we utterly destroyed what Fern and his people had wrought and what they built. And we made the children of Israel to pass the sea, then they came upon a people who kept to the worship of their idols. They said, O Musa, make for us a god as they have their gods. He said, Surely you are a people acting ignorantly. As to these, surely that about which they are shall be brought to note, and that which they do is vain. He said, What? Shall I seek for you a god other than Allah while he has made you excel all created things and when we delivered you from Fern's people who subjected you to severe torment killing your sons and sparing your women and in this there was a great trial from your lord and we appointed with musa a time of thirty nights and completed them with ten more so the appointed time of his lord was complete forty nights and musa said to his brother harun take my place among my people and act well and do not follow the way of the mischief makers and when musa came at our appointed time and his lord spoke to him he said my lord show me thyself so that i may look upon thee he said you cannot bear to see me but look at the mountain if it remains firm in its place then will you see me 
but when his lord manifested his glory to the mountain he made it crumble and musa fell down in a swoon then when he recovered he said glory be to thee i turn to thee and i am the first of the believers he said o musa surely i have chosen you above the people with my messages and with my words therefore take hold of what i give to you and be of the grateful ones and we ordained for him in the tablets admonition of every kind and clear explanation of all things so take hold of them with firmness and enjoin your people to take hold of what is best thereof i will show you the abode of the transgressors i will turn away from my communications those who are unjustly proud in the earth and if they see every sign they will not believe in it and if they see the way of rectitude they do not take it for a way and if they see the way of error they take it for a way this is because they rejected our communications and were heedless of them and as to those who reject our communications and the meeting of the hereafter their deeds are null shall they be rewarded except for what they have done and musa's people made of their ornaments a calf after him a mere body which gave a moving sound what could they not see that it did not speak to them nor guide them in the way they took it for worship and they were unjust and when they repented and saw that they had gone astray they said if our lord show not mercy to us and forgive us we shall certainly be of the losers and when musa returned to his people wrathful and in violent grief he said evil is it that you have done after me did you turn away from the bidding of your lord and he threw down the tablets and seized his brother by the head dragging him towards him he said son of my mother surely the people reckoned me weak and had well nigh slain me therefore make not the enemies to rejoice over me and count me not among the unjust people he said my lord forgive me and my brother and cause us to enter into thy mercy and thou art the most merciful of the merciful ones as for those who took the call for a god surely wrath from the lord and disgrace in this world's life shall overtake them and thus do we recompense the devisers of lies and as to those who do evil deeds then repent after that and believe your lord after that is most surely forgiving merciful and when musa's anger calmed down he took up the tablets and in the writing thereof was guidance and mercy for those who fear for the sake of their lord and musa chose out of his people seventy men for our appointment so when the earthquake overtook them he said my lord if thou hadst pleased thou hadst destroyed them before and myself too wilt thou destroy us for what the fools among us have done it is naught but thy trial thou makest err with it whom thou pleasest and guidest whom thou pleasest thou art our guardian therefore forgive us and have mercy on us and thou art the best of the forgivers and ordain for us good in this world's life and in the hereafter for surely we turn to thee he said as for my chastisement i will afflict with it whom i please and my mercy encompasses all things so i will ordain it specially 
for those who guard against evil and pay the poor rate and those who believe in our communications those who follow the messenger prophet the ummi whom they find written down with them in the Torah and the Ingil, who enjoins them good and forbids them evil, and makes lawful to them the good things, and makes unlawful to them impure things, and removes from them their burden, and the shackles which were upon them, so as for those who believe in him, and honor him, and help him, and follow the light, which has been sent down with him, these it is that are the successful. Say, O people, surely I am the messenger of Allah to you all, of him whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. There is no God but he. He brings to life and causes to die. Therefore believe in Allah and his messenger, the Ummi Prophet, who believes in Allah and his words, and follow him so that you may walk in the right way. And of Musa's people was a party who guided people with the truth, and thereby did they do justice. And we divided them into twelve tribes as nations, and we revealed to Musa when his people asked him for water, strike the rock with your staff so out flowed from it twelve springs each tribe knew its drinking place and we made the clouds to give shade over them and we sent to them men and quails eat of the good things we have given you and they did not do us any harm but they did injustice to their own souls and when it was said to them, Reside in this town and eat from it wherever you wish, and say, Put down from us our heavy burdens, and enter the gate making obeisance. We will forgive you your wrongs. We will give more to those who do good to others. But those who were unjust among them changed it for a saying other than that which had been spoken to them. So we sent upon them a pestilence from heaven, because they were unjust, and asked them about the town which stood by the sea. When they exceeded the limits of the Sabbath, when their fish came to them on the day of their Sabbath, appearing on the surface of the water, and on the day on which they did not keep the Sabbath, they did not come to them. Thus did we try them because they transgressed. And when a party of them said, Why do you admonish a with a severe chastisement? They said, To be free from blame before your Lord, and that haply they may guard against evil. So when they neglected what they had been reminded of, we delivered those who forbade evil, and we overtook those who were unjust with an evil chastisement because they transgressed. Therefore, when they revoltingly persisted in what they had been forbidden, we said to them, Be as apes, despised and hated. And when your Lord announced that he would certainly send against them, to the day of resurrection, those who would subject them to severe torment, most surely your Lord is quick to requite evil, and most surely he is forgiving, merciful. And we cut them up on the earth in two parties, some of them being righteous, and others of them falling short of that. And we tried them with blessings and misfortunes, that they might turn. Then there came after them an evil posterity who inherited the book, taking only the frail good of this low life and saying, It will be forgiven us. And if the like good came to them, they would take it too. Was not a promise taken from them in the book that they would not speak anything about Allah but the truth? 
and they have read what is in it and the abode of the hereafter is better for those who guard against evil do you not then understand and as for those who hold fast by the book and keep up prayer surely we do not waste the reward of the right doers and when we shook the mountain over them as if it were a covering overhead and they thought that it was going to fall down upon them take hold of what we have given you with firmness and be mindful of what is in it so that you may guard against evil and when your lord brought forth from the children of adam from their backs their descendants and made them bear witness against their own souls am i not your lord they said yes we bear witness lest you should say on the day of resurrection surely we were heedless of this or you should say only our fathers associated others with allah before and we were an offspring after them wilt thou then destroy us for what the vain doers did and thus do we make clear the communications and that haply they might return and recite to them the narrative of him to whom we give our communications but he withdraws himself from them so the shaitan overtakes him so he is of those who go astray and if we had pleased we would certainly have exalted him thereby but he clung to the earth and followed his low desire so his parable is as the parable of the dog if you attack him he lolls out his tongue and if you leave him alone he lolls out his tongue this is the parable of the people who reject our communications therefore relate the narrative that they may reflect evil is the likeness of the people who reject our communications and are unjust to their own souls whomsoever allah guides he is the one who follows the right way and whomsoever he causes to err these are the losers and certainly we have created for hell many of the jinn and the men they have hearts with which they do not understand and they have eyes with which they do not see and they have ears with which they do not hear they are as cattle nay they are in worse errors these are the heedless ones and allah's are the best names therefore call on him thereby and leave alone those who violate the sanctity of his names they shall be recompensed for what they did and of those whom we have created are a people who guide with the truth and thereby they do justice and as to those who reject our communications we draw them near to destruction by degrees from whence they know not and i grant them respite surely my scheme is effective do they not reflect that their companion has not unsoundness in mind he is only a plain warner do they not consider the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and whatever things allah has created and that may be their doom shall have drawn nigh what announcement would they then believe in after this whomsoever allah causes to err there is no guide for him and he leaves them alone in their inordinacy blindly wandering on they ask you about the hour when will be its taking place say the knowledge of it is only with my lord none but he shall manifest it at its time it will be momentous in the heavens and the earth it will not come on you but of a sudden they ask you as if you were solicitous about it say its knowledge is only with allah 
but most people do not know say i do not control any benefit or harm for my own soul except as allah please and had i known the unseen i would have had much of good and no evil would have touched me i am nothing but a warner and the giver of good news to a people who believe he it is who created you from a single being and of the same kind did he make his mate that he might incline to her so when he covers her she bears a light burden then moves about with it but when it grows heavy they both call upon allah their lord if thou givest us a good one we shall certainly be of the grateful ones but when he gives them a good one they set up with him associates in what he has given them but high is allah above what they associate with him what they associate with him that which does not create anything while they are themselves created and they have no power to give them help nor can they help themselves and if you invite them to guidance they will not follow you it is the same to you whether you invite them or you are silent surely those whom you call on besides allah are in a state of subjugation like yourselves therefore call on them then let them answer you if you are truthful have they feet with which they walk or have they hands with which they hold or have they eyes with which they see or have they ears with which they hear say call your associates then make a struggle to prevail against me and give me no respite surely my guardian is allah who revealed the book and he befriends the good and those whom you call upon besides him are not able to help you nor can they help themselves and if you invite them to guidance they do not hear and you see them looking towards you yet they do not see take to forgiveness and enjoin good and turn aside from the ignorant and if a false imputation from the shaitan afflict you seek refuge in allah surely he is hearing knowing surely those who guard against evil when a visitation from the shaitan afflicts them they become mindful then lo they see and their brethren increase them in error then they cease not and when you bring them not a revelation they say why do you not forge it say i only follow what is revealed to me from my lord these are clear proofs from your lord and a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe and when the quran is recited then listen to it and remain silent that mercy may be shown to you and remember your lord within yourself humbly and fearing and in a voice not loud in the morning and the evening and be not of the heedless ones surely those who are with your lord are not too proud to serve him and they declare his glory and prostrate in humility before him end of surah 7 Surah 8 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 8, Spoils of War, Al Anfal, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful, they ask you about the windfalls say the windfalls are for allah and the messenger 
So be careful of your duty to Allah and set aright matters of your difference and obey Allah and his messenger if you are believers. Those only are believers whose hearts become full of fear when Allah is mentioned and when his communications are recited to them, they increase them in faith and in their Lord do they trust. Those who keep a prayer and spend benevolently out of what we have given them. These are the believers in truth. They shall have from their Lord exalted grades and forgiveness and an honorable sustenance. Even as your Lord caused you to go forth from your house with the truth, though a party of the believers were surely averse. They disputed with you about the truth after it had become clear, and they went forth as if they were being driven to death while they saw it. And when Allah promised you one of the two parties that it shall be yours and you loved that, the one not armed should be yours, and Allah desired to manifest the truth of what was true by his words, and to cut off the root of the unbelievers, that he may manifest the truth of what was true and show the falsehood of what was false, though the guilty disliked. When you sought aid from your Lord, so he answered you, I will assist you with a thousand of the angels following one another. And Allah only gave it as a good news and that your hearts might be at ease thereby. And victory is only from Allah. Surely Allah is mighty wise. When he caused calm to fall on you as a security from him and sent down upon you water from the cloud that he might thereby purify you and take away from you the uncleanness of the shaitan and that he might fortify your hearts and steady your footsteps thereby. When your Lord revealed to the angels I am with you, therefore make firm those who believe. I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. Therefore strike off their heads and strike off every fingertip of them. This is because they acted adversely to Allah and his messenger. And whoever acts adversely to Allah and his messenger then surely Allah is severe in requiting evil. This taste it, and know that for the unbelievers is the chastisement of fire. O you who believe, when you meet those who disbelieve marching for war, then turn not your backs to them, and whoever shall turn his back to them on that day, unless he turn aside for the sake of fighting or withdraws to a company, then he indeed becomes deserving of Allah's wrath, and his abode is hell, and an evil destination shall it be. So you did not slay them, but it was Allah who slew them. And you did not smite when you smote the enemy, but it was Allah who smote, and that he might confer upon the believers a good gift from himself. Surely Allah is hearing, knowing. This and that Allah is the weakener of the struggle of the unbelievers. If you demanded a judgment, the judgment has then indeed come to you. And if you desist, it will be better for you. And if you turn back to fight, we too shall turn back and your forces shall avail you nothing. 
though they may be many, and know that Allah is with the believers. O you who believe, obey Allah and his messenger, and do not turn back from him while you hear. And be not like those who said, We hear, and they did not obey. Surely the vilest of animals in Allah's sight are the deaf, the dumb, who do not understand. And if Allah had known any good in them, he would have made them hear. And if he makes them hear, they would turn back while they withdraw. O you who believe, answer the call of Allah and his messenger. When he calls you to that which gives you life, and know that Allah intervenes between man and his heart, and that to him you shall be gathered, and fear an affliction which may not smite those of you in particular who are unjust, and know that Allah is severe in requiting evil. And remember when you were few, deemed weak in the land, fearing lest people might carry you off by force, but he sheltered you and strengthened you with his aid and gave you of the good things that you may give thanks. O you who believe, be not unfaithful to Allah and the Messenger, nor be unfaithful to your trusts while you know. And know that your property and your children are a temptation, and that Allah is he with whom there is a mighty reward. O you who believe, if you are careful of your duty to Allah, he will grant you a distinction and do away with your evils and forgive you. And Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. And when those who disbelieved devised plans against you, that they might confine you or slay you or drive you away, and they devised plans, and Allah too had arranged a plan, and Allah is the best of planners. And when our communications are recited to them, they say, We have heard indeed, if we pleased, we could say the like of it. This is nothing but the stories of the ancients. And when they said, O oh Allah, if this is the truth from thee, then rain upon us stones from heaven or inflict on us a painful punishment. But Allah was not going to chastise them while you were among them nor is Allah going to chastise them while yet they ask for forgiveness. And what excuse have they that Allah should not chastise them while they hinder men from the sacred mosque, and they are not fit to be guardians of it? Its guardians are only those who guard against evil, but most of them do not know. And their prayer before the house is nothing but whistling and clapping of hands. Taste then the chastisement for you disbelieved. Surely those who disbelieve spend their wealth to hinder people from the way of Allah. So they shall spend it, then it shall be to them an intense regret. Then they shall be overcome and those who disbelieve shall be driven together to hell, that Allah might separate the impure from the good, and put the impure, some of it upon the other, and pile it up together, then cast it into hell. These it is that are the losers. Say to those who disbelieve, if they desist, that which is past shall be forgiven to them. And if they return, then what happened to the ancients has already passed. And fight with them until there is no more 
persecution and religion should be only for Allah. But if they desist, then surely Allah sees what they do. And if they turn back, then know that Allah is your patron. Most excellent is the patron, and most excellent the helper. And know that whatever thing you gain, a fifth of it is for Allah, and for the messenger, and for the near of kin, and the orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer, if you believe in Allah, and in that which we revealed to our servant, on the day of distinction, the day on which the two parties met, and Allah has power over all things. When you were on the nearer side of the valley, and they were on the farthest side, while the caravan was in a lower place than you, and if you had mutually made an appointment, you would certainly have broken away from the appointment. But in order that Allah might bring about a matter which was to be done, that he who would perish might perish by clear proof, and he who would live might live by clear proof. And most surely Allah is hearing, knowing. When Allah showed them to you in your dream as few, and if he had shown them to you as many, you would certainly have become weak-hearted, and you would have disputed about the matter. But Allah saved you. Surely he is the knower of what is in the breasts. And when he showed them to you, when you met as few in your eyes, and he made you to appear little in their eyes, in order that Allah might bring about a matter which was to be done, and to Allah are all affairs returned. O you who believe, when you meet a party, then be firm, and remember Allah much, that you may be successful. And obey Allah and his messenger, and do not quarrel, for then you will be weak in hearts, and your power will depart, and be patient. Surely Allah is with the patient. And be not like those who came forth from their homes in great exultation, and to be seen of men, and who turn away from the way of Allah. And Allah comprehends what they do. And when the shaitan made their works fair seeming to them, and said, No one can overcome you this day, and surely I am your protector. But when the two parties came in sight of each other, he turned upon his heels and said, Surely I am clear of you. Surely I see what you do not see. Surely I fear Allah, and Allah is severe in requiting evil. When the hypocrites and those in whose hearts was disease said their religion has deceived them, and whoever trusts in Allah, then surely Allah is mighty wise. And had you seen when the angels will cause to die, those who disbelieve, smiting their faces and their backs, and saying, Taste the punishment of burning. This is for what your own hands have sent on before. And because Allah is not in the least unjust to the servants, in the manner of the people of Pharaoh and those before them. They disbelieved in Allah's communications, therefore Allah destroyed them. On account of their faults, surely Allah is strong, severe in requiting evil. This is because Allah has never changed a favor which he had conferred upon a people until they change their own condition, and because Allah is hearing, knowing. 
in the manner of the people of Pharaoh and those before them, they rejected the communications of their Lord. Therefore, we destroyed them on account of their faults, and we drowned Pharaoh's people, and they were all unjust. Surely the vilest of animals in Allah's sight are those who disbelieve, then they would not believe. Those with whom you make an agreement, then they break their agreement every time, and they do not guard against punishment. Therefore, if you overtake them in fighting, then scatter by making an example of them, those who are in their rear, that they may be mindful. And if you fear treachery on the part of a people, then throw back to them on terms of equality. Surely Allah does not love the treacherous. And let not those who disbelieve think that they shall come in first. Surely they will not escape. And prepare against them what force you can and horses tied at the frontier to frighten thereby the enemy of Allah and your enemy and others besides them, whom you do not know but Allah knows them. And whatever thing you will spend in Allah's way, it will be paid back to you fully and you shall not be dealt with unjustly. And if they incline to peace, then incline to it, and trust in Allah. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. And if they intend to deceive you, then surely Allah is sufficient for you. He it is who strengthened you with his help and with the believers and united their hearts had you spent all that is in the earth you could not have united their hearts but allah united them surely he is mighty wise o prophet allah is sufficient for you and for such of the believers as follow you o prophet urge the believers to war if there are twenty patient ones of you, they shall overcome two hundred. And if there are a hundred of you, they shall overcome a thousand. Of those who disbelieve, because they are a people who do not understand. For the present, Allah has made light your burden, and he knows that there is weakness in you. So if there are a hundred patient ones of you, they shall overcome two hundred. And if there are a thousand, they shall overcome two thousand by Allah's permission. And Allah is with the patient. It is not fit for a prophet that he should take captives unless he has fought and triumphed in the land. You desire the frail goods of this world while Allah desires for you the hereafter, and Allah is mighty wise. Were it not for an ordinance from Allah that had already gone forth, surely there would have befallen you a great chastisement for what you had taken too. Eat then of the lawful and good things which you have acquired in war, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. O Prophet, say to those of the captives who are in your hands, If Allah knows anything good in your hearts, He will give to you better than that which has been taken away from you, and will forgive you. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. And if they intend to act unfaithfully towards you, so indeed they acted unfaithfully towards Allah before, but he gave you mastery over them, and Allah is knowing wise. Surely those who believed and fled their homes and struggled hard in Allah's way with their property and their souls, and those who gave shelter and helped, 
These are guardians of each other. And as for those who believed and did not fly, not yours is their guardianship until they fly. And if they seek aid from you in the matter of religion, it is incumbent on you except against a people between whom and you there is a treaty, and Allah sees what you do. And as for those who disbelieve, some of them are the guardians of others. If you will not do it, there will be in the land persecution and great mischief. And as for those who believed and fled and struggled hard in Allah's way, and those who gave shelter and helped, these are the believers truly. They shall have forgiveness and honorable provision. And as for those who believed afterwards and fled and struggled hard along with you, they are of you, and the possessors of relationships are nearer to each other in the ordinance of Allah. Surely Allah knows all things. End of Surah 8《9 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain Sura 9 Repentance at Tauba revealed at Medina This is a declaration of immunity by Allah and his messenger towards those of the idolaters with whom you made an agreement. So go about in the land for four months and know that you cannot weaken Allah and that Allah will bring disgrace to the unbelievers. And an announcement from Allah and his messenger to the people on the day of the greater pilgrimage that Allah and his messenger are free from liability to the idolaters. Therefore, if you repent, it will be better for you. And if you turn back, then know that you will not weaken Allah and announce painful punishment to those who disbelieve, except those of the idolaters with whom you made an agreement then they have not failed you in anything and have not backed up anyone against you. So fulfill their agreement to the end of their term. Surely Allah loves those who are careful of their duty. So when the sacred month have passed away, then slay the idolaters wherever you find them and take them captives and besiege them, and lie in wait for them in every ambush. Then if they repent and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, leave their way free to them. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And if one of the idolaters seek protection from you, grant him protection till he hears the word of Allah, then make him attain his place of safety. This is because they are a people who do not know. How can there be an agreement for the idolaters with Allah and with his messenger, except those with whom you made an agreement at the sacred mosque? So as long as they are true to you, be true to them. Surely Allah loves those who are careful of their duty. How can it be, while if they prevail against you, they would not pay regard in your case to ties of relationship, nor those of covenant they please you? with their mouth, while their hearts do not consent, and most of them are transgressors. They have taken a small price for the communications of Allah. 
So they turn away from his way. Surely evil is it that they do. They do not pay regard to ties of relationship, nor those of covenant in the case of a believer, and these are they who go beyond the limits. But if they repent and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, they are your brethren in faith, and we make the communications clear for a people who know. And if they break their oath after their agreement and openly revile your religion, then fight the leaders of unbelief. Surely their oath are nothing, so that they may desist. What? Will you not fight the people who broke their oath and aimed at the expulsion of the messenger? and they attacked you first. Do you fear them? But Allah is most deserving that you should fear him, if you are believers. Fight them. Allah will punish them by your hands and bring them to disgrace, and assist you against them, and heal the hearts of a believing people, and remove the rage of their hearts and Allah turns mercifully to whom he pleases, and Allah is knowing wise. What? Do you think that you will be left alone while Allah has not yet known? Those of you who have struggled hard and have not taken anyone as an adherent besides Allah and his messenger and the believers, and Allah is aware of what you do. The idolaters have no right to visit the mosques of Allah while bearing witness to unbelief against themselves. These it is whose doings are null, and in the fire shall they abide. Only he shall visit the mosques of Allah who believes in Allah, and the latter day and keeps up prayer, and pays the poor rate, and fears none but Allah. So as for these, it may be that they are of the followers of the right course. What do you make one who undertakes the giving of drink to the pilgrims and the guarding of the sacred mosque like him who believes in Allah? and the latter day, and strives hard in Allah's way, they are not equal with Allah, and Allah does not guide the unjust people. Those who believed and fled their homes, and strove hard in Allah's way with their property and their souls, are much higher in rank with Allah, and those are they who are the achievers of their objects. Their Lord gives them good news of mercy from himself and his good pleasure and gardens wherein lasting blessings shall be theirs, abiding therein forever. Surely Allah has a mighty reward with him. O you who believe, do not take your fathers and your brothers for guardians, if they love unbelief more than belief, and whoever of you takes them for a guardian, these it is that are the unjust. Say, if your fathers and your sons and your brethren and your mates and your kinsfolk and property which you have acquired and the slackness of trade which you fear and dwellings which you like are dearer to you than Allah and his messenger and the striving in his way, then wait till Allah brings about his command and Allah does not guide the transgressing people. Certainly Allah helped you in many battlefields and on the day of Hunayn, when your great numbers made you vain, but they availed you nothing, and the earth became straight to you, notwithstanding its spaciousness, 
then you turned back retreating. Then Allah sent down his tranquility upon his messenger and upon the believers and sent down hosts which you did not see and chastised those who disbelieved and that is the reward of the unbelievers. Then will Allah after this turn mercifully to whom he pleases and Allah is forgiving merciful. O you who believe, the idolaters are nothing but unclean, so they shall not approach the sacred mosque after this year. And if you fear poverty, then Allah will enrich you out of his grace if he please. Surely Allah is knowing wise. Fight those who do not believe in Allah, nor in the latter day, nor do they prohibit what Allah and his messenger have prohibited, nor follow the religion of truth out of those who have been given the book until they pay the tax in acknowledgement of superiority and they are in a state of subjection. And the Jews say, Uzair is the son of Allah, and the Christians say, the Messiah is the Son of Allah. These are the words of their mouth. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved before. May Allah destroy them how they are turned away. They have taken their doctors of law and their monks for lords besides Allah and also the Messiah, son of Maryam, and they were enjoined that they should serve one Allah only. There is no God but he. Far from his glory be what they set up with him. They desire to put out the light of Allah with their mouth, and Allah will not consent save to perfect his light. Though the unbelievers are averse, he it is who sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth, that he might cause it to prevail over all religions, though the polytheists may be averse. O you who believe, most surely many of the doctors of law and the monks eat away the property of men falsely and turn them from Allah's way. And as for those who hoard up gold and silver and do not spend it in Allah's way, announce to them a painful chastisement. On the day when it shall be heated in the fire of hell, then their foreheads and their sides and their backs shall be branded with it. This is what you hoarded up for yourselves. Therefore taste what you hoarded. Surely the number of months with Allah is twelve months in Allah's ordinance since the day when he created the heavens and the earth. Of these four being sacred, that is the right reckoning. Therefore be not unjust to yourselves regarding them and fight the polytheists all together as they fight you all together. And know that Allah is with those who guard against evil. Postponing of the sacred months is only an addition in unbelief, wherewith those who disbelieve are led astray, violating it one year and keeping it sacred another, that they may agree in the number of months that Allah has made sacred, and thus violate what Allah has made sacred. The evil of their doings is made fair seeming to them, and Allah does not guide the unbelieving people. O you who believe, what excuse have you that when it is said to you, go forth in Allah's way, you should incline heavily to earth. Are you contented with this world's life instead of the hereafter? But the provision of this world's life 
compared with the hereafter is but little. If you do not go forth, he will chastise you with a painful chastisement and bring in your place a people other than you, and you will do him no harm. And Allah has power over all things. If you will not aid him, Allah certainly aided him. When those who disbelieved expelled him, he being the second of the two, when they were both in the cave, when he said to his companion, Grieve not, surely Allah is with us. So Allah sent down his tranquility upon him and strengthened him with hosts which you did not see, and made lowest the word of those who disbelieved, and the word of Allah that is the highest. And Allah is mighty, wise. Go forth light and heavy, and strive hard in Allah's way with your property and your persons. This is better for you if you know. Had it been a near advantage and a short journey, they would certainly have followed you. But the tedious journey was too long for them. And they swear by Allah, if we had been able, we would certainly have gone forth with you. They caused their own souls to perish, and Allah knows that they are most surely liars. Allah pardon you. Why did you give them leave until those who spoke the truth had become manifest to you, and you had known the liars? They do not ask leave of you who believe in Allah and the latter day to stay away from striving hard with their property and their persons. And Allah knows those who guard against evil. They only ask leave of you who do not believe in Allah and the latter day and their hearts are in doubt so in their doubt do they waver. And if they had intended to go forth, they would certainly have provided equipment for it. But Allah did not like their going forth, so he withheld them, and it was said to them, Hold back with those who hold back. Had they gone forth with you, they would not have added to you aught save corruption, and they would certainly have hurried about among you seeking to sow dissension among you, and among you there are those who hearken for their sake, and Allah knows the unjust. Certainly they sought to sow dissension before, and they meditated plots against you until the truth came, and Allah's commandment prevailed, although they were averse from it. And among them there is he who says, Allow me and do not try me. Surely into trial have they already tumbled down, and most surely hell encompasses the unbelievers. If good befalls you, it grieves them, and if hardship afflicts you, they say, Indeed we had taken care of our affair before, and they turn back and are glad. Say, Nothing will afflict us, save what Allah has ordained for us. He is our patron, and on Allah let the believers rely. Say, do you await for us but one of two most excellent things, and we await for you that Allah will afflict you with punishment from himself, or by our hands, so wait, we too will wait with you. Say, spend willingly or unwillingly, it shall not be accepted from you. Surely you are a transgressing people and nothing hinders their spendings being accepted from them, except that they disbelieve in Allah and in his messenger. 
and they do not come to prayer but while they are sluggish, and they do not spend but while they are unwilling. Let not then their property and their children excite your admiration. Allah only wishes to chastise them with these in this world's life, and that their souls may depart while they are unbelievers. And they swear by Allah that they are most surely of you, and they are not of you, but they are a people who are afraid of you. If they could find a refuge or cave or a place to enter into, they would certainly have turned there too, running away in all haste. And of them there are those who blame you with respect to the alms, so if they are given from it, they are pleased. And if they are not given from it, lo, they are full of rage. And if they were content with what Allah and his messenger gave them and had said, Allah is sufficient for us, Allah will soon give us more out of his grace and his messenger too. Surely to Allah do we make our petition. Alms are only for the poor and the needy, and the officials appointed over them, and those whose hearts are made to incline to truth, and the ransoming of captives and those in debts and in the way of Allah and the wayfarer, an ordinance from Allah, and Allah is knowing wise. And there are some of them who molest the prophet and say, He is one who believes everything that he hears. Say, A hearer of good for you, who believes in Allah and believes the faithful and the mercy for those of you who believe. And as for those who molest the messenger of Allah, they shall have a painful punishment. They swear to you by Allah that they might please you and Allah as well as his messenger has a greater right that they should please him if they are believers. Do they not know that whoever acts in opposition to Allah and his messenger, he shall surely have the fire of hell to abide in it? That is the grievous abasement. The hypocrites fear lest a chapter should be sent down to them, telling them plainly of what is in their hearts. Say, go on mocking, surely Allah will bring forth what you fear. And if you should question them, they would certainly say, we were only idly discoursing and sporting. Say, was it at Allah and his communications and his messenger that you mocked? Do not make excuses. You have denied indeed after you had believed. If we pardon a party of you, we will chastise another party because they are guilty. The hypocritical men and the hypocritical women are all alike. They enjoin evil and forbid good and withhold their hands. They have forsaken Allah, so he has forsaken them. Surely the hypocrites are the transgressors. Allah has promised the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women and the unbelievers the fire of hell to abide therein. It is enough for them, and Allah has cursed them, and they shall have lasting punishment. Like those before you, they were stronger than you in power, and more abundant in wealth and children, so they enjoyed their portion. Thus have you enjoyed your portion, as those before you enjoyed their portion, and you entered into vain discourses, like the vain discourses in which entered those before you. These are they whose works are null in this world, 
and the hereafter, and these are they who are the losers. Has not the news of those before them come to them, of the people of Nuh and Ad and Samud and the people of Ibrahim, and the dwellers of Madian and the overthrown cities, their messengers came to them with clear arguments. So it was not Allah who should do them injustice, but they were unjust to themselves. And as for the believing men and the believing women, they are guardians of each other. They enjoy in good and forbid evil and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and obey Allah and his messenger. As for these, Allah will show mercy to them. Surely Allah is mighty wise. Allah has promised to the believing men and the believing women gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them and goodly dwellings in gardens of perpetual abode. And best of all is Allah's goodly pleasure, that is the grand achievement. O Prophet, strive hard against the unbelievers and the hypocrites, and be unyielding to them, and their abode is hell, and evil is their destination. They swear by Allah that they did not speak, and certainly they did speak. The word of unbelief and disbelieved after their Islam, and they had determined upon what they have not been able to effect, and they did not find fault except because Allah and his messenger enriched them out of his grace. Therefore, if they repent, it will be good for them, and if they turn back, Allah will chastise them with a painful chastisement in this world and the hereafter, and they shall not have in the land any guardian or a helper. And there are those of them who made a covenant with Allah. If he give us out of his grace, we will certainly give alms, and we will certainly be of the good. But when he gave them out of his grace, they became niggardly of it, and they turned back, and they withdrew. So he made hypocrisy to follow as a consequence into their hearts till the day when they shall meet him, because they failed to perform towards Allah what they had promised with him, and because they told lies. Do they not know that Allah knows their hidden thoughts and their secret counsels, and that Allah is the great knower of the unseen things? They who taunt those of the faithful, who give their arms freely, and those who give to the extent of their earnings and scoff at them, Allah will pay them back their scoffing, and they shall have a painful chastisement. Ask forgiveness for them, or do not ask forgiveness for them. Even if you ask forgiveness for them seventy times, Allah will not forgive them. This is because they disbelieve in Allah and his messenger, and Allah does not guide the transgressing people. Those who were left behind were glad on account of their sitting behind Allah's messenger, and they were averse from striving in Allah's way with their property and their persons, and said, Do not go forth in the heat. See, the fire of hell is much severe in heat. Would that they understood it? Therefore they shall laugh little and weep much as a recompense for what they earned. Therefore, if Allah brings you back to a party of them, and then they ask your permission to go forth, say, by no means shall you ever go forth with me, and by no means shall you fight an enemy with me. 
Surely you chose to sit the first time. Therefore, sit now with those who remain behind and never offer prayer for any one of them who dies and do not stand by his grave. Surely they disbelieve in Allah and his messenger and they shall die in transgression. And let not their property and their children excite your admiration. Allah only wishes to chastise them with these in this world and that their souls may depart while they are unbelievers. And whenever a chapter is revealed, saying believe in Allah and strive hard along with his messenger, those having ampleness of means ask permission of you and say, Leave us behind that we may be with those who sit. They prefer to be with those who remain behind and the seal is set on their hearts so they do not understand. But the messenger and those who believe with him strive hard with their property and their persons, and these it is who shall have the good things, and these it is who shall be successful. Allah has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them. That is the great achievement. And the defaulters from among the dwellers of the desert came that permission may be given to them and they sat at home who lied to Allah and his messenger. A painful chastisement shall afflict those of them who disbelieved. It shall be no crime in the weak, nor in the sick, nor in those who do not find what they should spend to stay behind. So long as they are sincere to Allah and his messenger, there is no way to blame against the doers of good, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. Nor in those who, when they came to you, that you might carry them. You said, I cannot find that on which to carry you. They went back while their eyes overflowed, with tears on account of grief for not finding that which they should spend. The way to blame is only against those who ask permission of you, though they are rich. They have chosen to be with those who remained behind, and Allah has set a seal upon their hearts so they do not know. They will excuse themselves to you when you go back to them. Say, urge no excuse. By no means will we believe you. Indeed, Allah has informed us of matters relating to you. And now Allah and his messenger will see your doings. Then you shall be brought back to the knower of the unseen and the seen. Then he will inform you of what you did. They will swear to you by Allah when you return to them so that you may turn aside from them. So do turn aside from them. Surely they are unclean and their abode is hell, a recompense for what they earned. They will swear to you that you may be pleased with them. But if you are pleased with them, yet surely Allah is not pleased with the transgressing people. The dwellers of the desert are very hard in unbelief and hypocrisy, and more disposed not to know the limits of what Allah has revealed to his messenger, and Allah is knowing wise. And of the dwellers of the desert are those who take what they spend to be a fine, and they wait the befalling of calamities to you. On them will be the evil calamity, and Allah is hearing, knowing. And of the dwellers of the desert are those who believe in Allah and the latter day, and take what they spend to be means of the nearness of Allah, 
and the messenger's prayers. Surely it shall be means of nearness for them. Allah will make them enter into his mercy. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And as for the foremost, the first of the muhajireens and the ansars, and those who followed them in goodness, Allah is well pleased with them, and they are well pleased with him. And he has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them forever that is the mighty achievement and from among those who are round about you of the dwellers of the desert there are hypocrites and from among the people of medina also they are stubborn in hypocrisy you do not know them we know them we will chastise them twice then shall they be turned back to a grievous chastisement. And others have confessed their faults. They have mingled a good deed and an evil one. Maybe Allah will turn to them mercifully. Surely Allah is forgiving merciful. Take alms out of their property. You would cleanse them and purify them thereby. And pray for them, surely your prayer is a relief to them, and Allah is hearing, knowing. Do they not know that Allah accepts repentance from his servants and takes the alms, and that Allah is the oft returning to mercy, the merciful? And say, work, so Allah will see your work, and so will his messenger, and the believers and you shall be brought back to the knower of the unseen and the seen. Then he will inform you of what you did. And others are made to await Allah's command, whether he chastise them or whether he turn to them mercifully. And Allah is knowing wise. And those who built a masjid to cause harm and for unbelief and to cause disunion among the believers and an ambush to him who made war against Allah and his messenger before. And they will certainly swear we did not desire aught but good. And Allah bears witness that they are most surely liars. Never stand in it. Certainly a masjid founded on piety from the very first day is more deserving that you should stand in it. In it are men who love that they should be purified, and Allah loves those who purify themselves. Is he, therefore, better who lays his foundation on fear of Allah and his good pleasure, or he who lays his foundation on the edge of a cracking hollow bank, so it broke down with him into the fire of hell, and Allah does not guide the unjust people. The building which they have built will ever continue to be a source of disquiet in their hearts, except that their hearts get cut into pieces, and Allah is knowing wise. Surely Allah has bought of the believers their persons and their property for this, that they shall have the garden, they fight in Allah's way, so they slay and are slain, a promise which is binding on him in the Torah and the Angel and the Quran. And who is more faithful to his covenant than Allah? Rejoice therefore in the pledge which you have made, and that is the mighty achievement. They who turn to Allah, who serve him, who praise him, who fast, who bow down, who prostrate themselves, who enjoy in what is good and forbid what is evil, and who keep the limits of Allah, and give good news to the believers. 
It is not fit for the prophet and those who believe that they should ask forgiveness for the polytheists, even though they should be near relatives, after it has become clear to them that they are inmates of the flaming fire. And Ibrahim asking forgiveness for his sire was only owing to a promise which he had made to him. But when it became clear to him that he was an enemy of Allah, he declared himself to be clear of him. Most surely Ibrahim was very tender, hearted for bearing. It is not attributable to Allah that he should lead a people astray after he has guided them. He even makes clear to them what they should guard against. Surely Allah knows all things. Surely Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He brings to life and causes to die. And there is not for you besides Allah any guardian or helper. Certainly Allah has turned mercifully to the prophet and those who fled their homes and the helpers who followed him in the hour of straightness after the hearts of a part of them were about to deviate. Then he turned to them mercifully, surely to them he is compassionate, merciful. And to the three who were left behind until the earth became straight to them, notwithstanding its spaciousness and their souls were also straightened to them. And they knew it for certain that there was no refuge from Allah but in him. Then he turned to them mercifully that they might turn to him. Surely Allah is the oft returning to mercy, the merciful. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah and be with the true ones. It did not beseem the people of Medina and those round about them of the dwellers of the desert to remain behind the messenger of Allah, nor should they desire anything for themselves in preference to him. This is because there afflicts them not thirst or fatigue or hunger in Allah's way, nor do they tread a path which enrages the unbelievers, nor do they attain from the enemy what they attain. But a good work is written down to them on account of it. Surely Allah does not waste the reward of the doers of good, nor do they spend anything that may be spent small or great, nor do they traverse a valley, but it is written down to their credit that Allah may reward them with the best of what they have done. And it does not beseem the believers that they should go forth all together, why should not then a company from every party from among them go forth that they may apply themselves to obtain understanding in religion, and that they may warn their people when they come back to them that they may be cautious? O oh, you who believe, fight those of the unbelievers who are near to you and let them find in you hardness. And know that Allah is with those who guard against evil. And whenever a chapter is revealed, there are some of them who say, Which of you has it strengthened in faith? Then as for those who believe, it strengthens them in faith and they rejoice. And as for those in whose hearts is a disease, it adds uncleanness to their uncleanness, and they die while they are unbelievers. Do they not see that they are tried once or twice in every year? Yet they do not turn to Allah, nor do they mind. And whenever a chapter is revealed, they cast glances at one another. Does anyone see you? 
then they turn away. Allah has turned away their hearts because they are a people who do not understand. Certainly a messenger has come to you from among yourselves. Grievous to him is your falling into distress. Excessively solicitous respecting you. To the believers he is compassionate. But if they turn back, say, Allah is sufficient for me. There is no God but he. On him do I rely, and he is the Lord of mighty power. End of Surah 9